Hey Sunflower, you want to drink the rain in the world? Uh, rainwater is probably not the cleanest, especially this rainwater. Ah, uh, but you do you. Uh, so I started playing as the Artificer earlier today. Artificer was really fun. Being able to do rocket jumps. Uh, but I want to play as the Saint today. And I'm thinking this is probably going to be a really difficult slug cap. Because this required beating the game as both Spearmaster and Rivulet. Both of which were not easy campaigns. Um, it says, We're frail and armed with a long tongue. Your journey will be one of perfect enlightenment, but walking this path requires patience, caution, and complete attunement with the world. I really hope this doesn't have a Hunter-esque time mechanic. What the fuck? Okay. That is the ghost slug cats from the Void Sea. Okay. Based on that, it, we are in industrial complex. We have a different timer thing. Yes, grappling room. Um. It also looks like we might have exhaustion? Uh, hold on, this is kind of... Uh, the timer here is different. We don't have very much food requirement. Our eyes are closed, which is usually a sign of fatigue, which is not good. I'm cold and hungry. Find shelter from the storm. I'll pass out from the cold. Oh, fuck. I can't throw that. Okay. Fuck. Scavenger? No? Okay. Uh. We need food. Tongue's gonna take some videos. Okay, there's a little bit of food here. Do I have anything inside me? Okay, no, let's keep the pearl in there. Maybe up here? Freeze to death. There's another karma flower. We just froze to death. Too slow getting to the popcorn plant? And we couldn't spear it? Oh, 
Oh wait, the popcorn plant is on the ground here. Oh, that's... I don't know how I missed that. Okay. So it seems like instead of rain cycles as monk, we have, like... Cold cycles. Up here? No? I also noticed we had very low maximum starting karma. Which I assume is gonna mean... Based on the way this was playing out, I'm thinking we're gonna have to do... A bunch of... Echoes to raise our maximum karma? Because I saw the giant karma gate in the opening cutscene. I take it that's the snow timer down there. And instead of being gated by... Are we just permanently fatigued? Windswept spires? Maybe it's specific to this area? It seems to have stopped now. But this is outskirts. Isn't it? Is it? No, no, this is foam arrays. I mean, there should be an echo over here. I need to remember this tongue. I have not seen, like, any living creatures. Okay. I'm thinking we're gonna have to get all the echoes. Because it said it required perfect attunement with the world. Was it to get to the echo? This one? Serving as a wave propagating throughout the annals of history. Listen, as I have for many eons, tis true, some of us, some of those swells cannot help but mirror back. Okay. Seven dots on the pilgrim. Really, I think there are only six echoes. <laughs> okay. Um, This is... This must be... What's the gimmick? I... <sighs> More than one. We have a very long tongue. Pop 
Flint's dead. Okay. That we can use as a grappling worm. Um, we also seem to be exhausted. Or eyes are just permanently closed. One of the two. I can't really tell. Um, the game world is also different. It The rain seems to have stopped and instead we have snow and exhaustion. Okay, there are the lizards. Got this karma flower. Oh, we already had a karma flower, right. Wait, did we? Looks like there's an unlock over here. Let's go grab that. Which means I feel like the world's gonna be even more fucked up than when we were playing as the rivulet. This is wait. What? Okay. DJ, why you don't need to spoilers. That spoils like all of the discovery part of this character. Because now I just know what the character does. Literally called the Saint Achievement. I don't know that that's what this does though. I mean like, the Hunter Achievement doesn't imply that you carry spears on your back. And the Monk Achievement doesn't imply the absence of drop wigs or the fact that coma gates stay open and like uh hold on this doesn't seem to go anywhere I'm starting to freeze already Like, just because I say something, it's not asking for information, like, ever, unless I very explicitly tell you that I want to know something. Because that destroys, like, all of the discovery aspect of the game. There's no mystery with this character now. You just told me everything that they do. Uh, I'm starting to get cold, so I think I'll go down here. I didn't see any other paths aside from this one. I'm assuming this is requiring me to go down here. I guess probably is the indication that we have to uh, be responding to the chat as opposed to giving me info. Well, I mean, I read the chat. Center wing. Hmm. Let's go 
that's not gonna work. Yeah. Hmm. That's a pull down there. And this is a one way. Ah, we can't get back that way. But we can at least grab the pull. Wait, we have the tongue. Wait. I need to remember that. Hmm. I don't see how I could use the tongue to get over there. Hey, Shark Tales. Looks like good. Hold on. You're late. What did you miss? Ah, uh, the first echo. Maybe we could get up here with this. Oh, that center wing is totally going to see me. Yeah, okay. Maybe not. Fog? Oh, fuck. Okay. There was going to be some interesting platforming with this character. He takes fall damage. Uh, if you fall far enough, it's just a death box on the screen. Or like Rainforest Cafe. Some lemon cat. Yeah, we have a giant ass tongue. Uh, we basically permanently have a grappling worm. Uh, although I don't think it works quite like a grappling worm. Maybe it does, uh, but it felt a little different. The other thing is, we can't seem to throw spears hard enough to lodge them into things. And we also, this must be post rivulet because the world is all snowy now, which is what I was talking about when we were playing as rivulet. It might just be that moon. Is that a vulture? Fuck. Yeah, it is. Okay, but we can jump. Okay. So the way this tongue works is we can jump from our tongue. Fuck. Like, normally with a grappling worm, you can't use it as a surface to jump from. But when we're grappled to something, we can jump upwards. This is... No, 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 this is... We're just in Sky Islands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It'd be cool if I just could grab, cut my tongue. I don't think that would be cool. Oh, yeah, that's the Sky Islands... Yeah, we can't really fight. So it seems like evasions are only really a real option. Fuck, they're gonna cut me off. Uh, grab this pearl. Should be shelter in here. 
And yeah, once we run out of time with this character, instead of the rain coming, it like a blizzard starts and we start to freeze to death. And it's seeming to me like we're gonna have to get all of the echoes for this character. And possibly an extra one specific to this character. Hey, Grim. Um, we can get the one in Chimney Canopy and then down to Shaded Citadel. There's the one in Farmer Rays. We'd have to go back in the other direction for that one. I'm not too keen on that. Fuck. Oh, fuck. This is a very powerful evasion tool, which is good because, uh, we're basically incapable of defending ourselves. The lizards look slightly different. Well, all lizards have slight variations. It might just be something like that. I didn't look too closely at them, but... Ask me to have fun. Uh, thanks, Gabriel. I finished the Gourmand campaign last night. That was quite fun. Oh, that's alright, don't worry about it. Um, I The Gourmand grew on me a lot. Uh, I really liked the insane damage that it had. Uh, that was the main thing that I liked. Well, I mean, yellow lizards normally have horns. Right? Hold on. Is that indicating another echo? Maybe this is the chimney canopy echo? But this far out? Could also just be a, a weird lighting thing. Oh, do we have a karma for this? We do! Good. Yeah, our color seems to change... I'm assuming it's temperature-based, as the temperature decreases. Maybe not. Okay. We got the flash. We'll see if we have to do a double entrance thing with the Echo. I also notice we have the weird, um... Is that supposed to be breath? Maybe that's what that is. Okay, we have the echo thing again. I thought it was some weird electrical thing. 
But it happened when you were playing as Rivulet when we were at the top of Moon's place. And in the snow area. And it might just be breath. Eats. Okay. You guys need to shut up with backseating. Stop. Or I will ban you. I don't need you to tell me what's going on. I don't need you to tell me how to play the game. I don't need you to tell me what's going on with this character. I can figure it out. I don't need or want tips. Like, ever. is the one in Shaded Citadel, but I don't remember where exactly it is, but if we just follow the visual distortions, we might be able to find it. And then it's also the one at the top of the wall past five pebbles. Overlooked on land for eternity, watched this vast expanse was blanketed in, into an endless tundra. We remain trapped in place and yet can never stop moving. Funneled endlessly into an unknown future. To what destination do these memories reach? of chimney canopy. We've got the wall, at the top of which is an echo, and potentially the back entrance into five pebbles. I don't know what five pebbles is going to look like. But, if we have the tongue, we could easily get there. We wouldn't need to put a spear in the thing. And I think it's worth checking out, at the very least. So let's continue heading right through chimney canopy. Yeah, I finished playing Gourmand uh, yesterday, like I was saying. Uh, I enjoyed Gourmand quite a lot. Uh, it grew on me a lot. Uh, the ending was great. The ending area for Gourmand was beautiful. Um, the Outer Expanse. And it was also, I really enjoyed the story for, Gour for, Gour for, for Gourmand. Um... With the other ones, it was very, like, oh, you gotta go be a messenger and shit and do what Moon and Pebbles want and whatever. Whereas with Gourmet, it's just, hey, you know what? Fuck you. I'm sick of seeing all you guys. Get out of here. Get out of my area. And then you leave, and you just go find a bunch of slug cats to live with. Feels much more akin to the base game. Gourmand feels more like Hunter and Monk. Fuck. Hold on. Five Pebbles lost his gravity thing. And quite possibly fell. The structure collapsed like moons. That would be my guess.
Which means we need to go... Damn, fuck, did he collapse into the Shaded Citadel? This whole map is going to be different as this character, isn't it? Uh, I think I really enjoyed... So, Gorman's storyline was much more akin to... Uh, Monk and Survivor. Um, where... It was ri Oh, fuck. Okay. Um... It was very separated from the, uh... Iterators, and you kind of just vibe, you know? Uh, huh. We gotta get down there. I'd like to keep these pearls to get just instant really good reputation with scavengers. Um. Bait him down here. Okay. Okay. Let's seek the shelter over here. The snow's starting to pick up, I think. Um. We felt much more akin to... Survivor and Monk. Where you're kind of just exploring the world with a very vaguely defined objective. Uh, whereas Spearmaster and Rivulet more of go here and do this very specific thing. Oh, God. I don't like center wings. Did it see me? I'm trying to bait it in here. Yeah, it's, it saw me. Fuck. I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Oh, but there's a second one. Damn it. Don't like center wings because I can never tell what they're doing. Okay, there's the alternative path up this way. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Center wing left. It's our opportunity. Damn it. I can never tell what center wings are doing. Really hoping the shelter is gonna st still going to be here. Uh. Okay, good. Okay. Um. I guess we go down and just see what's going on. I would also like the lantern you have, please. I would like to keep that inside of me.
Alright, well, I'm gonna hope that you can, uh, keep that stuff. Okay, and we head down. Shaded Citadel should hopefully be not miserable, assuming Shaded Citadel is even still Shaded Citadel. I think that's our next stop. Oh, fuck. fuck. Damn it. I knew there was food down there, but I missed the grapple. Hope these scavengers are still here. Of course they're not. God, I don't like center wings. Really would like that lantern, but Yeah, that's how I eat sand. So I timed you out and didn't ban you or anything, but please don't. I don't. I really don't want that sort of information. Is there a pearl up there? No, that just, must just be like a weird thing. Yeah, it's just one of the flies. Center wing went away. I noticed the pole plant's not there anymore. Okay, he's a spinny boy. I can respect that. Um, could you move, please, lizard? Thank you. Do we have? We have a lot of time. Hmm. Wait, was that a scavenger? Or was that an orange lizard? Huh. I think it was probably in a yellow lizard. Really curious what like shoreline and moon is gonna look like. Okay, I think we rest here. I don't know what's going on, and I don't want to have to risk going through this area again because I don't. I really don't like dealing with center wings. They're not even like super dangerous. It's more the fact that I can't tell what they're doing.
I don't like enemies I can't beat. Uh, I want to check something. There's a spear out here, and there's a popcorn plant. Um... I tried popcorn. Oh wait, no, there isn't a spear anymore. Fuck. I had tried spearing a popcorn plant during the initial cycle, and it didn't work. But that may have been due to like the freezing or whatever, because the popcorn plant did look weird. Yeah, okay, we just can't spear popcorn plants. Good to know. Oh, I hope we have the karma for the. Okay, yeah, we do. Okay. We can't get through any five karma gates yet because we haven't hit enough echoes. So I'm hoping. Before Shaded Citadel, we don't hit any of those. I don't think it's a five karma gate to get into Shaded Citadel. I know it is to get five pebbles in the normal game. I want to say it's a three comma gate to get to set it up. Okay. Icy Monument. So far, Saint seems to be the most changed character. Okay, scavengers. Give me the lantern. Give me the lantern. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Where did those scavengers go? Is that a different... No. What does Saint do? Um. Tongue. Tongue. Oh, fuck! There was a white lizard there. God damn. They really are everywhere. Interesting, that popcorn plant grows on its own and released- oh god, fucking scent wings. And released its things, um... Hmm. Yeah, Saint has long tongue. And also, like, can't fight. Also, the entire world is frozen over. And instead of rain, there's snow. And we freeze to death. I want to get that coma flower back. Because losing coma is going to be an issue. I don't want to have to foam coma. I hear the danger music. That would be the danger music. Okay. Let's go down here. Um, If I die again, I'll rest at that shelter. But for the time being. Interesting. Yellow lizards seem to be much more prominent as time goes on. Because this has to be post Uh... Oh, scavenger. Uh... Fuck you! I want to get thrown up to 
close enough to throw my pearl at him. I can't tell what makes the popcorn plants pop sometimes in the snow. Seems like we start with bad reputation, which is annoying. My favorite creature in Rain World? Cyan Lizard. God, it's going to be even tougher to see white lizards than normal because of... I'm not really noticing any no visual difference with the lizards. If it is, it's very minor. Could also go garbage wastes to moon, but I'm more interested in getting the coma gates first. Okay, there's a scavenger. No, dude, I wanted to give it to the... Let me... Can I give... Take the lantern? No, I don't want the spear. I would really like... Please just give me the lantern, dude. Pissed at us in the short term for it, but it's fine. It's gonna dot fuck. I really don't want to go in there without a lantern. That scab woke up and chose violence. Well, I did steal the items. The problem is, I took the pearl out of my mouth and it dropped on the ground, and the one that I didn't want to have picked up, picked it up. To be fair though, I can understand the scavengers being hesitant to trust slug cats seeing as like artificer exists. Alright, there's a leapy boy. Cream lizard down there? Caramel lizard, whatever. That or red lizard. Uh, There's something spitting. I threw you a pearl. You fucker.
Hey, you stole my cover flower. Bitch. Okay. Give lantern. Okay. We've given them two pearls. We haven't stolen anything from them. Fuck you, dude. You gotta be kidding me. I saw him raising his spear. Don't tell me they're still aggressive to me. What is this game? This is Rain World. Are we cool? Dude. Come on. Quick explanation? I can't give a quick explanation. You play as a slug cat, you try to survive in the world. The game isn't simple. <laughs> Maybe if we sleep together, it'll raise a reputation. You can tell when the scavs want to throw a spear at you because they'll raise their hand in a certain way and like gesture out with their spear. That indicates they're trying to throw it at you or they're warning you with it. Maybe we just had to rest and that'll raise our rep with them? I don't know. I'd like my food. Thank you. Could also be just these ones are more aggressive than the other ones. I hope we have the karma for this. Fuck. Um... Fahomo rays? We've already hit two of the echoes. Since we can't get to pebbles the back way there, I would have to assume... We would go up through Pebbles' area to get to that echo, assuming it's even there. Um, does industrial complex connect to we got garbage wastes looks to the moon shoreline looks to the moon but i want to get that fifth combo before i go over there in case there are any gates i can't get to i think we backtrack to foam arrays foam I know how to get there through Sky Islands. Do we go back there? I think maybe we go back there. I'm not positive on the outskirts one, and there's also a toll in the outskirts entrance. We don't currently have a pole. Uh, a pole. Oh. Huh. What do you know? Game knows exactly what I wanted. Do I try outskirts path? 
I don't know. The problem is I don't know the outskirts path. To... Like, backwards. But... I'll, I'll head there. I'll head there. I'll see what... See what happens. I'm... Not... Liking this a whole lot. A lot of lizards. Here. Take this off my hands. This has got a big tail. This thing's gonna catch me. I hope there's not a red lizard in this room. Oh, there's a yellow lizard, though. Oh, it's totally gonna bite me. There were poles on the ground down there, but I'll just leave those be for now. Um, keeping an eye out for drop wigs. I want to go down there. God, there were so many yellow lizards. They must have detected something down here. The tongue is cool. The tongue does feel very nice. Okay, uh, narrowly dodged that center wing. Okay, no shelter down here. Back to outskirts. And then, what is the other, in the base game, the sixth echo location? Is it subterranean? Is it in the subterranean? Because there's Sky Islands, Chimney Canopy, Five Pebbles, Shaded Citadel, Farm Arrays. Suburban Drifts. Oh god. This is not the type of environment I want to be in. Where is there a shelter? My gut instinct is to say it's in Farm Arrays. Oh, sorry, Subterranean. But I don't know where in Subterranean. That is five pebbles is over here. What is that doing here? Fuck, this is down here. God, there are a ton of lizards everywhere here. What the f- Oh, are you fucking serious? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Okay. Managed to juke the red lizard. Whole plant seems to be gone. Does the falling snow indicate the cycle? I'm not sure how much it correlates with it. Hold on, there should be a shelter down here. Yes. God, this area, it's like playing with hunter spawns without being able to have weapons. I'm not sure how much the snow indicates. I'm not entirely sure how the cycle works. We got a quick tutorial of we'll slowly freeze to death when the cycle, when the rainfall starts to get intense. But I'm not sure what exactly... I don't think this centipede is big enough to kill me. I also wonder if Saint... 
Holy fuck. That has to be a new lizard. I saw it. It looked different. But I thought it was just a weird type of white lizard. No, that's like a... a What do I even call that thing? Salmon lizard? It's like salmon colored? It grapples to you with its tongue. Oh, fuck. We're going down to the subterranean. Are we, or is this drainage system? No, this is drainage system. Fuck drainage system. I really hope they didn't put the extra echo in drainage system. God. Also, another thing, which... I could see being like a thing. Fuck, it's the grapple lizard. Damn. Uh, at least we died in this room. It's possible it could be an echo in like outer expanse or something. Because I saw after we beat the game as the gourmand, it said that the outer expanse was open. It, uh, after this part in the timeline. So, like, in the sunken pier, or outer expanse, those areas are still there. Harpoon lizard? Yeah, it's not a bad name. I don't know, I kind of like salmon lizard. I kind of like salmon lizard. I like salmon. This is the only character I've seen that lizard on. Holy shit, they jump? God damn. Okay, it's like top left to get to... Oh fuck, centipede. Farmer ways, right? Maybe over there? That's promising. So far, all of the, um, all of the slug cats I've played out. It's so prominent, lizards being, so, oh, it's so funny, lizards are so prominent in a tundra environment. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little silly. Wait, no, that's down there, which means you actually want to go up there. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I don't know if we're making it out of this one. I feel like the last thing you want to see, the second you're going through a, uh... Into another room, is a fucking red lizard on your ass. And we managed to avoid aggroing it, or I think it got distracted. But God! Um... Okay, I think we want to go up left here, if I'm remembering correctly. Which I'm probably not. But yeah, every single one of the slug cats in the Downpour DLC that I've played as, and I've played as all of them at this point. I haven't played extensively as Artificer, but I started playing it. 
they have all been very fun. Okay. Try to lower the centipede. We have its tension? Yeah, we do. Wait, can they swim? They can. God, I wish I remembered how to get to Fomo. I know the... I don't know the way to get to Fomo is from here. I know the other path, because that's what I would do as Hunter. I think it's here. This feels right. Because that's where you fall down. But I don't have any pearls to pay the toll. Fuck. Maybe the toll won't be here anymore. I don't know. Maybe I can sneak by in the confusion of them fighting the cream lizards. Okay. That's where we need to go. I need to try to... Obtain a pearl on the way there, though. Look backtrack for one. There aren't pearls in outskirts, though. There's some back in industrial complex that I passed by. We'll see if we can sneak by without paying. I don't think it's going to be likely, but... I think it's worth a shot. Did I take a bonk turn? Yeah, we wanted to go up there. And that lizard's going to be distracted with the centipede and ignore me. Is it following? I hope it's following me. Oh, God. God damn it. I... Okay, we have to go get a pearl. We have to go back to industrial complex, I think. complex the following please be following me that or if this lizard comes through maybe it'll distract the centipede okay they're fighting each other sounds like the centipede killed the lizard that's going to make this awkward. I, I can't move here. I'm too weak to carry the lizard. 
and the centipede's just gonna grab me and shock me. How the fuck can I get through this room? Maybe if I'm, like, faster? I could do some grappling stuff? Okay, there we go. The centipede's leaving. Thank fucking god. The way centipedes move always creeps you out along with the pull mimics. Hmm. Yeah, I, they're very... Uh... Yeah, unnerving. I'm gonna go left, up, right. Oh god, it is such a clusterfuck here. Yeah, this is a very intense character, because there's just a non-stop stream of enemies everywhere that you cannot deal with, and they're very dangerous enemies. That's a dead lizard. Okay, we need to go here. I know the room that has pearls in it. There are two of them there. We don't have enough coma for this, though. Which means we need to find another shelter. take to tame a lizard we can't kill things it's not gonna work Yeah, we need to get to farm arrays, <clears throat> which requires getting past that scavenger tool. I'm also wondering if the saint is going to be like the hunter, in the fact that it can't do passages. That would be very unfortunate if that's the case. Okay. 
Never really understood what passages did. They teleport you around the map to other shelters, and they also fully raise your karma to the max level. They're fast travel, yeah. This shelter sucks because of the uh, the salmon lizard that's right here. Right, let me see if I can just get this. Maybe I can give the salmon lizard the centipede. I wasn't sure if we were cool after I gave him a snack. No, we're not cool. would love to be able to eat popcorn plants. How fast is that lizard? Uh, it's going through fast travel points. Too. To reach me. It's traveling around the room using those. It's cheating. Basically. Dude, what the fuck? How low is my starting reputation with scavengers as this character?
You can move one thing. Oh, lots of peeps. I've given them like three or four pearls and have never acted aggressively towards them. I was hoping we'd at least be at the point where I could... Eat your snack. They wouldn't just attack me on sight, but I guess not. I'm not really sure how that centipede that rested with me died. Because I didn't kill it. Right. There was food in this room. Okay. We have enough coma now. If we make it back alive. If we can get back to the outskirts gate, to the industrial complex, we can make it back through, grab the pearl, fuck my food, damn it, grab the pearl, and then, uh, pay the gate, the toll. Seems like centipedes just die whenever they hibernate with you. Lizard here. You want a snack? Have a snack. That was an interesting noise that it just made. Is it? Hey, buddy. Can I help me, buddy? Thanks, buddy. Fuck. Okay. We have a friend now. God damn it. Friend, save me. The thing is, we're not going to be able to continue feeding him is the issue. So his... He's not going to stay tamed forever. But hopefully a cycle or two, he can help us get through here. All we need is a cycle or two. The other thing is, it seems pretty likely that centipedes would kill him. In fact, he may have already died to a centipede, I'm not really sure. We need to get up past where that center wing is right now. Kinda looks like... Okay, there's a huge clusterfuck happening right there. But, we can ignore it. 
Okay. Can we? Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh. Okay, we're almost there. God. Another center wing? That's in such an awful position. Maybe we can attract its attention by making noise? I think we can just... Oh, God. Okay. That's in such a bad position. I need it to leave. Go somewhere I can walk past it. We just have to get right up there. You hear me, don't you? Yeah, there we go. God. This fucking thing. Okay. The way centipedes work is if they grab you with both ends, they will electrocute you and kill you. Obviously, this only applies to larger centipedes. Smaller centipedes uh, won't do that. <sighs> Scavengers are still in kill on sight mode. It's starting to snow. We gotta get to the shelter and heal, but fuck, the shelter's nowhere nearby. Oh god, because the shelter here is closed. Wait, is it starting to snow? I heard the rumble, which usually means. But I don't see. I think I remember where there was a shelter. It's up here. Wait, fuck, is it? It's rumbling. My controller is shaking, vibrating, and I don't like it. Okay, well, this is... Damn it. This is where the pearls are. Oh god. I think there's a shelter up there. banking a lot on this.
Oh, God. No, I know where the shelter is. I know where the shelter is. It's totally snowing outside. And we're totally gonna freeze. But I know where the shelter is. I know where we're going now. I detailed enough on the map to recognize it. It was up here. This was the room off to the right. Okay, and there's a karma flower too. Okay, I think we're back at the point where we can make progress again. That was a very rough patch. But we've got karma. We've got a karma flower, and we've got pearls to pay the scavenger toll, and we know where we're going. So I do notice it doesn't seem like we can get the monk or saint passages. Or the survivor passage, unless we need to get to five karma in order to unlock those, which would be an interesting concept. We'll see. Because in the base game, you don't unlock the ability to do those passages until you've unlocked Survivor. And in order to unlock Survivor, you need to raise your karma level to five and then survive for five cycles at that karma level. So it's possible some of the passages may be gated behind that. Or it's possible they may just be completely unobtainable on this character. Uh... This character is very intense, though. Um, and it really tests your ability to outmaneuver and dodge things. That's a regular size, or a small centipede. Let's go here. Oh, fuck. Okay, center ring was still in there, but we baited it around. Let's grab this food. But we've got enough. Okay, we gotta get back down there to the left. To wait for that centipede. We have an opening. But that room is pretty cramped. We don't want to go in there when there's a center wing. Perhaps we can attract it up here. And then bait it around. Oh, fuck! Okay. Yellow lizard in the way. Loud centipede saw me. I need that yellow lizard gone. Is there an alternative path I could take? There is... We probably want to avoid that clusterfuck of a room. Which means we go... Right, right... Down... Up, down. Let's see how that looks. We can afford to take our time here.
I'm gonna give them one of these pearls. Damn it. And everything here is a clusterfuck. God damn. Was that supposed to be a toll? I mean, I paid the toll. They're not trying to kill me, are they? Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, that is bullshit. Because the centipede was going through the tunnel, it instantly killed me because both of its ends were in the same spot. Well, I need to get through those clusterfuck rooms again. But once we get to that shelter, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Outskirts is so rough with um a lot of these characters. The ones that don't spawn there. Because they just throw so many enemies um, in really cramped rooms. Uh, that you really don't have good ways to deal with. I can try starting to pick up blocks and throw those to try to distract enemies. Potentially. I really want to go make sure I pick up that karma flower. It's a lot of centipedes. Damn it. I'm not sure if this is a toll or not. I feel like it is. Fuck, they totally heard that. Oh, but they're fighting each other? That's good. Is that Friend Lizard? Is Friend Lizard still alive? Or still Friend? I'm not sure. Okay, we made it through the awful area. It's like two rooms. I have to deal with a cream lizard, but he's following us. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. I'm not seeing any pole plants. It's possible, like, they don't exist as this character? Maybe because of the cold weather? Okay. Okay, we made it here. With the karma flower, and the karma, and the pearl to pay the toll. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get through fine. Let me check the map so I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to go right, right, up. Left, up, left. Or probably... Well, I, th I thought that was a toll room. So I guess we'd have to go that way. Although maybe it's not a toll room. Maybe it's just a scavenger room. I don't really know. Um, We gotta get through that clusterfuck area. But then we pay the toll. We get to farmer race. Hey, Jokey. Okay, 
Cream Lizard immediately saw us. Oh, fuck. Those two lizards should fight each other, though. Let's grab some food here while that plays out. Although, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea of how to avoid that clusterfuck. If we... No, we would only avoid that area up there. Damn it. Because there's the area you fall down if you miss the jump. And we could have tongued up it, but that wouldn't actually help us very much, because that's not avoiding the difficult area. What I think of downpour so far, all of the slug cats have been incredibly fun. Uh, and it's been very fun to play. Distracted with a centipede. Okay. They weren't chasing me, so that's good. They were just... We're cool, right? You don't have any weapons anyway. So far, the only point in time playing downpour where I haven't where I haven't been having a really fun time. It was pretty much Oh god damn the center wings. Fuck we have to save that pearl. We can't afford to lose this pearl. This center wing. It was up here, right? Yeah, it was. I will be curious to see if any of, like, the water is going to be frozen. There's a karma flower, but we already have a karma flower. Because it's obviously very cold here. Centering fucked off for some reason. What's that vulture doing? Okay, cream lizard distracted. Center wing over there. Should just be me and the scavengers. Can I go? Please wave me. Okay, they're waving me through. Good.
Where is a non-5 Kama Gate where I can find an Echo beyond it? Let me check Sky Islands. Go back there? We have to go to the Sky Islands one. Okay. Uh, if we start... From Chimney Canopy left down there. Okay. Okay. I you have to go back to industrial complex. Also, I'm going to keep one of these inside my stomach to make sure I can pay this toll. Actually, I think I'm just going to give all of these pearls to them here to try to raise my reputation. Hello. Um, that thing's mask is gone. Oh, there's a center wing here. Fuck. Where did the mask go? Hold on. I don't see its mask anywhere. Getting that vulture mask could be a really big benefit. We are running out of time. We need to go back to industrial complex. west of that shelter. Oh, I think I see what happened. I think I see what happens. Okay. When you go to the gates between areas, you warm up. That's where my time got reset there. Okay. Because it drops like hot water on you. We can't waste any time. Where am I? We're down here. Okay. That doing's probably gonna kill me, but we can't afford to wait. Please move. Move. It's right up here. Okay, I think this will warm us up. Yes, okay, good. Transitioning between areas raises your temperature. Hang on, why is my map not... Okay. We don't have long, though. Scale lizard from above. Keep going up.
Okay. Um. Really sucks that we have to take this path, but we're gonna loop back. Go back up industrial complex. Chimney canopy. Sky islands. Down to farm ways. Yeah, the fact that the echoes stay in the same place after all this time is really a cool concept. I'll be interested to see. Um. So it seems to me like Five Pebbles' structure collapsed. I don't know why I can't see my map. So I will be interested to see if the structure, if the echo at the top of Five Pebbles is still in that spot, that general area. Why is my rain world snowing? Uh, downpour. We haven't entirely figured out why, Ethan. This is the last character in the DLC. Um, it's down here, right? Well, there's a pearl here, isn't there? Yeah. Still better than the red lizard clusterfuck that you normally get on Hunter. Okay, cyan lizard. Food, so that's good. We are currently playing as the monk, who is a pacifist slug cat, pacifistic slug cat, and we cannot defend ourselves. We're hiding from a lizard. If you're out of line of sight and you don't make noise, lizards generally will have trouble detecting you. Well, the snow started, Enio, as soon as we revived Moon. That is what caused the snow. We revived Moon as Rivulet. And that caused the snow. Fuck. God, I don't like center wings at all. And they're not even hitting me. But they're just unnerving to be around, because the way they move, it's really difficult to get a feel for. Vulture dodged. And we started in... Yeah, based on the way that Rivulet's campaign ended, ended, this is very clearly to me after Rivulet. Right. Um, Rivulet ended... With us taking Five Pebbles' battery pack and giving it to Moon. And reviving her. And then the world started snowing. And Moon sent out some message. Fuck! God, the screen transition... Immediate lizard right above me.
Okay. I think we're baiting them around. Cyan Lizard didn't see us. That one seems to have hurt us, maybe. Okay. We're almost back. There's probably going to be a Cyan Lizard or one of these Salmon Lizard things. Up here, though. No, maybe not. We'll fall on food. We take one for the road, though. Okay. It's starting to get cold, but we're going to get temperature back when we go up to here. Because this drops steam and hot water on us. Yeah, instead of the cycles of rain, the world seems to be in a perpetual state of snowing. That seems to be the, the change that has taken place. Now, I'm not sure how far this is going to expand. Like, I don't know if, we're, if we go to, like, the outer expanse or something, if it'll still be... I assume we can go to the outer expanse, because the game said... That it would remain open after Gorman's point on the timeline. Um, I don't know if it'll be like snowing there. Um, but what? But yeah, that thing down there seems to be an indication of our body heat. And when it depletes, we like we freeze to death. And we can replenish it. Uh, going through the coma gates was the main way that I, I noticed. Okay. And we started up in Sky Islands. Or it wasn't called Sky Islands. Uh, I think it was called like Windswept Towers or something. Uh, Uh, this place is also an absolute clusterfuck. Is that a red lizard? Oh, fuck. But it's busy with the scavenger, but there's a cyan lizard following it. There's not another cyan lizard, is there? Alright, we're being chased. Center wing. Does not see me. Okay. Saint seems to be, like, super hard mode. Like, I mentioned, like, Hunter being the game's hard mode. Saint is just... Uh, we're gonna throw every fucking enemy in the game that is extremely difficult at you. Um, and also, you're not allowed to use weapons or defend yourself. All you get is a licky licky tongue. There's a white lizard up here. I didn't really catch. Okay, I see it now. We could probably give him a loop around this way. Okay. The tongue does open a lot of evasion opportunities that were not otherwise present. Oh, we have two options. Uh, let's go with the not in there option. I like that option.
Which means just go. We just go straight for chimney canopy. Oh, sorry, we're in chimney canopy now. Sky Islands. I haven't seen any king vultures. All right, we gotta get this food here. Starting to lose body heat. Let me also grab. Fuck, we lost the pearl. Whatever, it's fine. No! The vulture knocked down the fruit. Okay, I think we just have to say fuck this fruit. I don't see us get. There's a white lizard there too. Okay, we're gonna just have to pass it. We have enough to hibernate, so. Just have to bank on that being enough. Yeah, it should be left here. Okay. Oh, God. I can never tell what center wings are doing. Do I have to be concerned about this? Is it trying to kill me? Can I walk past it? We don't have time to... Okay, it's going away now, at least. And we're dead. Okay. I have to get through all that shit again. If I see a scavenger, I'm just throwing them this probe. I think this is the only time I've played the game where Karmagates have been, like, a huge issue. Because, I mean, we just straight up can't go to certain areas. Uh... So, there's a red lizard in this area, which I don't want to encounter. But I don't know where it is. Last time we saw it, it came through here, but we have to go through here. Okay. Cyan lizard evaded. Another cyan lizard, though. White lizard. Are you. Fuck. Okay. Oh, you fuck. That was... Okay. I'm glad the grappling mechanics for this character feel very good. Because if this grapple wasn't very good, this would be a fucking nightmare to play. I feel like all of the special movement mechanics for each of the characters has felt very good. Um, between Rivulet, there's like me and Rivulet, I don't know. Uh, the extra speed and, and swimming and stuff, and the low gravity stuff. Uh, Artificer's explosive jump, uh, the tongue here, they've all felt very good. Okay, we need to make sure we get enough food we want to make sure we get the coma flower as well. I need that bolt. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. I need those fruit.
Is there a white lizard? I don't see one. I would like... Oh no, why would he fill, fall on fruit? I think we just go. We have an opening here. Time. Looks rather hit or miss if the mechanic tended to sand the edges off the high difficulties for the clusters of animals to keep distracting each other. Uh, it has been an absolute clusterfuck. Uh, I don't know if the intention is to have them distract each other or if you're supposed to find paths around and avoid them. It feels more like finding paths around and avoiding them is what the game wants you to do. Because uh, it gives you a very powerful tongue grapple that allows you to maneuver in ways that are really unparalleled. Um, I'm going to rest here. With the other characters, save for me with the gravity thing. The problem is the small cramped rooms. Those are the biggest issues. The tunnels and whatnot. It feels less like you're supposed to wait for them to distract each other and more you're supposed to dodge and outmaneuver them or take alternative paths. But in some areas, especially outskirts is very bad. Outskirts is fucking awful on like non-survivor difficulties. Well, actually, I don't know about the other new characters. But like as Hunter, outskirts fucking sucks. Uh, because when it doesn't have basic enemies, it's actually a very close quarters map. With not a lot of evasion options. But in these other areas, I have a feeling it might be better. Okay, so we need to get down... to farmer ways and get the echo there. Oh damn, this is actually going to be a time that I actually use these fruit down here. I never use these things. Scavenger merchant, right there. But there's also food down there, so let's get that. Fuck! I grap. I grappled the fruit instead of the wall. Okay, well, that's fine. We just have to go pick up the camera flower. It's right here. Well, I'm gonna fall to our death in the meantime. We'll be fine. I think out of the issue with such a clusterfuck is the large number of yellow, orange lizards that are all over the place. Because those are pack lizards, and whenever one gets in trouble, they communicate to all the other ones in their pack to come help them. So if one yellow lizard gets in a fight, it's gonna call a bunch of other yellow lizards, and then you have a fuck ton of yellow lizards uh, all in the same area. The only thing that I have not been a fan of going through the world is the center wings. Because there have been a very large number of them. And I can never get a feel for how they move.
glad. I want to... Let me just ignore that one. I don't like that. The way the way that one is positioned. And this is enough food. Turn for lunch, they're probably gonna stay quiet to avoid spoiling anything else. Alright, welcome back. Um Yeah, it's been much less of a clusterfuck on the return trip, although I guess this is the starting area for this character, so maybe it's just less of a less of a cluster clusterfuck naturally. Um Let's say we don't hit that shelter. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. We gotta go down there. Off there, there's another shelter there. But, mm, nah, I think we do hit the shelter just for safety. Alright, hello! So after, what happened is we exited Sky Islands and went to Chimney Canopy and hit the Echoes in both of those places and then could not go to Shaded Citadel because we were blocked by a 5 Karma Gate and then could not go to Farmerways from Outskirts because, because we were blocked by a 5 Karma Gate. So now we're going through Sky, uh, to Farmerways through Sky Islands back this way to get the 5 Karma so we can actually go through these gates. Hello, lizard. Goodbye, lizard. Like, in normal circumstances, it would be pretty difficult to outmaneuver these lizards uh, as a normal character. Uh, but the attack that we have the tongue really boosts our ability to, uh, to evade them. Particularly lizards that cannot climb background walls. I imagine it will be a little more difficult to avoid those ones once the time comes. We have to address like white lizards and stuff more seriously than we have been. But just. There we go. Good food? We have enough food to sleep. This is back here now. What are we doing on temperature? We're fine. Here. Okay. I know where to go. Uh, this one, right? Is it? Hold on. Y y yes, yes, it's here, and then. I hope this leads to farmer ways. I didn't consider the possibility that it could be closed off in this direction. Is this where we want to go? 
Let me look at Sky Island's map real quick. The regular Sky Island map. So we would have just... Wait. No, no, no. That's not where we want to go. We want to take the other path left. Okay. That Spider-Man action is certainly novel for Rainworld. Yes, it's like... It's like having a grappling worm, except it doesn't weigh you down. Um, and it feels better than a grappling worm. And grappling worms already felt great. Yeah, being able to cling to... S is that a different colored lizard? I can't tell if that's just a weird variation of yellow, or if... I hope the center one didn't see me. Okay. Oh, good. Looks like it was just a weird variation of yellow. Okay. It's grappling room with adjustable length. Yeah, and you can also jump off of it, which I don't think you can do with grappling rooms. Like, when you're grappled, you can jump upwards. Um, well, I appreciate the game giving you a very powerful mechanic, um, on the high difficulty, as opposed to just, like, trying to play as a regular character. But just having the world be a massive clusterfuck. Okay. Okay, we can get through here. We can get the echo in farm ways. Okay. I have an idea of where the... Yeah, yeah. The, it gives you a very powerful evasion mechanic because you can't fight, I feel like. Like, if you were just a regular slug cat, it would be fucking... Or was the previous stream my longest stream ever? No, longest stream ever was probably Copper Short Sword Empress when we killed her. That was like 11 hours. Okay, I don't... N desolate fields, huh. Okay. Alright, fuck you. Are we in... Okay. Hello, goodbye. This is here. Okay. That centipede is so cool. Center wings have cool design. They're... Okay, we're fucked. Yeah, we're done. Center wings have cool design. Uh, I don't like them. So... Uh... I don't like the way they move. I don't... I have a really difficult time figuring out what the fuck they're doing. I'm still not sure if this is following hunter rules for echoes or regular rules for echoes. Meaning hunter rules for echoes. When you're playing the game normally, you have to in you have to go to where the echo is, and then the screen flashes, and then you come back there, and then the echo is there. Whereas hunter encounters echoes for the first time. I'm not sure if we're following. I don't think. I think we have our own. It seems to be flashing whenever we are in an area with an echo. They are very erratic, and it's difficult to tell whether or not they're aggroed to you. That's the main thing I don't like about them, is it's hard for me to tell whether or not they want to kill me. They just spin around and then suddenly home in on you. 
Okay, well now we're in the part of the map that I know very well. I wonder if I can spore puff them. The center wings. The use of some objects may not be obvious at first. Look, I know how. To... Oh fuck! God damn it! Rest in peace, that pearl. Uh, is that a scavenger that it just took? It's a vulture. I think that's where we want to go. Glad the game is giving me tutorials for spore puffs. I guess that's probably helpful. I'm assuming they probably added that for the first time you pick up a spore puff to indicate to you that it's how you use caramel lizards or green lizards on crack. Yeah. Damn, it grabbed me. Fuck. They're either green lizards on crack, or red lizards that are not on crack. I still haven't been able to figure out what the, like, if the caramel lizard spit actually, like, does anything aside from just knocking you around. God, monk speedruns are gonna be, I'm oh, sorry, no, yeah, saint, saint speedruns are gonna be fucking wild, I feel like. With all of the tongue flying. Okay. Oh, we missed. Oh, it we totally can kill center wings. Okay, we missed that spore puff, but... The way spore puffs work is they're like a... a, a toxin to insects. Um, oh, please get up the, okay, uh, and one well-placed spore puff can kill, yeah, pesticide, one well-placed spore puff can kill, I think, any insect except a red centipede, which takes two. So even though we can't use spears... We do still have a potential- is that a frog? Oh, it's a frog! I love the frogs. You've killed reds, reds more than take a bit to die? Oh, okay. Maybe two is to do it consistently, or maybe with- To do it with one with a red, you have to, like, hit all of their segments. Yeah. Um... So we need to go through a toll? Fucking do it, you center wing. So I'm gonna keep the pull for that. Then we're gonna also need to go through. One, it's enough to slow it down enough to be able to outrun it if you're smart with your pipes, and it's just a waiting game. Ah, I see. I generally don't fuck with the red centipedes, so I don't. I think I've ever tried to, like, actively kill one with a puff. I don't want to take the... Get the pull. Can I go? Okay, they're waving me through. Good. 
They seem to have updated the speed at which scavenger... Maybe it's just... Sometimes they do it really slowly. But I remember before Downpour, it would sometimes take quite a while for scavengers to, like, recognize that you gave them a pearl for a toll and for them to wave you through. Whereas it's been pretty immediate uh, these couple times. Okay. Uh, which one is it? Is it left or right? I think it's left. I'm gonna grab some spore puffs just in case we encounter something. Yeah, it's this way. Do I explore shoreline as gourmand? What do you mean explore shoreline? I went to moon. Was there something to find there? You can spoil Gorman stuff now. I finished that campaign. There is? What's there? Hunter's ruined, rot turned corpse. That's not very pleasant. Hunter with long legs. Ah. Oh. So I guess Hunter ascending is not the canonical ending. Yeah, see you, Shark Tales. Oh, wait, is that... That happens if you perma-dive running out of cycles with him popping up in whatever area you left him at? That's an interesting concept. I don't know. I did not see Hunters. Where was it? DJ3K? Because I didn't see that anywhere. Oh, God. Um, as Hunter, you can just fuck off and run through this. Hell yes! Come on, come on, get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiggling around quickly might startle this creature? Where was it in Shoreline, DJ3K? One of the trash islands. One of the multi-screen ones. Yeah, I didn't see it anywhere. I mean, I didn't spend a huge amount of time in Shoreline. I did walk back through it, though. I didn't use any passages as Gourmand. That was a spider. Um... Why did I pick that up? Yeah, I don't think when I played as Gourmand, I used a single passage, so it would have been just... ...something to encounter. It's just a red brother long legs. What are the difference between daddy long legs and brother long legs?
Oh, brother long legs are entirely sense deprived. Okay. Okay, let's see if anything happens when we hit five karma. Why is it? This long forgotten place beckons me, drawn by a certain presence. The fields here are not as I remember, too much has changed. But by forfeiting familiarities, perhaps something new is gained. Despite all, this site still has not revealed the entirety of its secrets. Perhaps this is the reason for my continued imprisonment. It's a giant spider! Kill it! Okay, and now we're at the regular karma level. Um, if we were to get four more echoes, that would bring us to the normal max karma level. Um, but I'm not sure what that's going to entail. Okay, let me. I want to check where in the vanilla game, uh, the echoes normally are. I know there's the one. In, uh, is Echo? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nineteen spades, endless reflections. Uh, okay. Highest point in chimney canopy. The wall. Underneath the eastern entrance to Shaded Citadel. And then in the subterranean, as one enters from the farmerways. So we should probably go... Um... Subterranean... Hit two sprouts, twelve brackets. And then... Drainage system? No, shoreline. Probably subterranean to shoreline, then shoreline to here, then hit four needles under plentiful leaves, and then go to memory crypts. Okay, that'll be the plan. We go from... Farm arrays. I want to go to Subterranean, which is currently we're here. We want to go down here, and then we want to go left, then up, left again, Subterranean. Okay. Okay. And then it's right there. Okay. That'll be the padding. I want to keep these spore puffs for potentially attracting or directing reindeer. Kind of seems like they might have either changed reindeer a bit or given a tutorial for how reindeer work. Because I don't remember shaking the horns. Being a noteworthy action beforehand. Um, I'm gonna say fuck this pearl. I need spore puffs.
I also wonder... I know before Downpour, there was like an unimplemented... Or a reputation system for reindeer that didn't do anything. Um... I, Left. Okay. Go. Please go. Reindeer, what are you doing? What? What the fuck is this thing doing? I right, fuck it. Damn it. I don't think I'm quite fast enough for that. Maybe I threw it in a way that just got it stuck in a corner. Damn it. You should place things like Hunter Longlegs, Baby Center Wings, and other creature reskins in Sandbox. You might be able to at some point. I mean, they might add that in an update, especially if people mention it. Fortunately, my Karma Flower is down there. Reindeer? Reindeer? I swear to fucking god, reindeer. If this worm grass... Okay. This way. Get your ass over here. Please turn. Walk this way. Thank fucking god. I really want that coma flower, but I don't want to fucking... I think it's worth it. But I really need to make sure I don't lose my coma. Please get your ass up.
Reindeer. The fine way. Uh. No! Other way! No! Thank you. Please. Please just get me through this area. Please, Mr. Rain. I don't want to play anymore. Just... I'm gonna freeze to death. I don't have any time. Please. Is that red? Oh, thank God. I swear to God, if this scavenger fucking kills me, I'm gonna lose it. Okay. Classic rain wolf reindeer, yeah. Their AI felt a little bit different. It seemed like they were waiting for me to board them, and then I had to, like, startle them to make them move. Okay, now we can unlock passages, I think. But I'm not certain. Oh, also, I have, I have a question, DJ3K. Um, does Gourmand's food tracker mean anything? I never figured that out when I was playing as Gourmand. It unlocks something if you max it out. Okay. But other than that, it doesn't do anything. Only if you max it. What the fuck is that? Those are spiders. An actual permanent unlock. For the character or like sandbox mode or... Consider one of the main objectives. Is that a spider spider? We fucked up coming here. Sandbox mode and multiplayer. Okay. Yo, well, I mean, I noticed the game kept indicating more things for me to eat and what to eat next and whatnot. Uh, but I didn't end up doing it because we, uh, I just beat the regular game first. Uh, but I might go back and consider doing that. I should have been grappling the ceiling this whole time. Alright, we have pretty good scavenger. Are these spider spiders? Wait. What the fuck is that? That's not a spider. That's... Wait. Yes, it is. Yeah, those are just spiders. They just look different for some reason. Okay, um, I... Where the fuck do I go now? Uh, map. I don't want to... get lost in the areas that... 
Okay, this is subterranean farmways. Right now. Wait. Okay. Left. We go left. Just wanted to check and make sure. That's what I thought. But. Okay. Oh, the uh, new lizards implemented in the lineage system. Uh, like cream lizard, the eel lizards, uh, the salmon lizard. Content to go now, reindeer. There we go. You know, we probably could, uh, grapple the ceiling in this area, at least. Maybe it would be possible to get through here without a reindeer at all as this character, but... You'd have to get past the first batch of worm grass. Could be tricky. You got a reindeer that didn't trip on that ledge during your gourmand one? You took this path to get to the subterranean? Oh, do you not have to go through subterranean? Oh, wait, hold on. Is that an unlock? I think the path I took as Gourmand was, uh... I went outskirts, drainage system, subterranean. Like, I think I just walked back from moon through garbage wastes and then industrial complex and then outskirts and then, uh, went drainage system, subterranean, uh, the pier and that area. Oh, pipe, pipe yard? Pipe yard. We went to pipe yard. I remember that. I forget where pipe yard was. I think it connected to drainage system? Maybe?
Could I go down this cliff here? Okay. Okay, that's where we are. I recognize now. Yeah, yeah. And this is where... Okay. A little beast. Come to join me in this great undoing. Oh, that wasn't a question. That was just a statement. The old world will soon vanish white right from history to pave a path for the dawning of a new area. How many have been consumed so far? Will be the tenth civilization? Or the thousand? Amusingly, they thought those small struggles bore such great significance. All was naught but to serve the void. Okay, yeah, it's looking like we hit all the things. Uh, and that'll do it. Um, yeah, I fucking... I, I did appreciate... Yes, and now we have all the things unlocked. And now we can get passages. Okay. Um... I appreciate how with the rest of the slug cats, Ebbles is, like, helpful. Now, I don't know about Artificer. I haven't been there as Artificer yet, but... Pebble, like, you go to Pebbles, and he's like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I'll give you some objective, I'll give you this, and you be on your way, or go do this, and leave me alone, or something. Then he sees Gourmet, man. he's like, oh my fucking god, I am sick of this shit. You fat fuck, get the hell out of here. I never want to see you again. I don't want to see any of you again, go migrate somewhere else. And then he's just like, seriously, when Rivulet comes along? I mean, <laughs> to be fair, Ennio, if I was in Five Pebbles, if I was in his position, I would also be like, how in the actual fuck did this thing get through all of that shit? The rot infested, uh, area. Let's get about Hunter Longlegs. The Vought only took over the bottom half of the body. Okay, I want to check the subterranean map. Make sure. Um, the Duck Future Pearl. Yeah, we just want to go straight right the entire way across as soon as we hit the train area. Just keep going right. Um, have we rested in a shelter... We haven't. Uh, we could hit that shelter down there. These two paths look the same. Okay. Okay, I have the, the pathing down. I think I'm going to try to get the Nomad. Uh, passage. Primordial Underground. We could also just fuck off and go to, uh, the Outer Expanse. Which... I didn't really get to explore it super thoroughly as Gourmand, at least some of the areas, because some of the platforming sections were pretty difficult, especially in the top book part. You saw an image of it and that's horrific. But I'll, I'll look it up. 
Don't... I don't know. You don't think Hunter Longlegs spawns if you ascend as Hunter, so you think the locked cannon only extends to when you save Moon. Found an image on Reddit. That's why I thought I would look Eat Sand, but I didn't see it anywhere. Yeah, because when I did Hunter, um, I did the, like... I mean, I went five pebbles, uh, moon, and then ascended, um, and I did not see a hunter long legs. There's a post called Severe Gourmet Spoilers. This is an encounter that's called manned, if that isn't clear. Another thing is that it spawns on a come with flower in the lower right of the room. This is located in outskirts. That is... That would make sense if where you die... Also appears to be unkillable. Did you ever finish your hunter run with an ascension? Huh. Yeah. I have not seen one anywhere. I did not see one when I was playing as Gormand. It is killable, just doable. Mm. All I know is I did not see one anywhere, and I explored very thoroughly as Gormand. I spent the most time as Gourmand, I think, and I explored pretty much ev almost every map area. Um, I did not see one anywhere, and I did do a hunter run and ascended with it, uh, and did the and helped Moon and whatnot. Um, that's the only input I can put on that. I will probably go back as Gourmand and look more. If you ascended it with it, it wouldn't spawn. Well, the person in the Reddit post also said they ascended with Hunter. So if there's still uncertainty about the thing... Hang on, are those, what are those lizards doing? Those are hunting centipedes. What slug cat has the best abilities? Um, that's really difficult because they're all incredibly strong. Buck. Eat shit.
Okay, that thing doesn't have a hitbox. That's why we couldn't grapple it. All these characters should be very OP. Um, what was Rivulet's drawback? <laughs> Fast cycles, but that's only until you like hit pebbles, right? Didn't it just go to regular cycles after you took Pebbles' as core? I did not really feel Rivulet's drawback at all. Only five hunger and one extra pip. I feel like Rivulet is the strongest of the slug counts. Because I didn't really feel like... I didn't feel the drawback. Especially because of how fucking fast you move. The fast cycles didn't really feel uh, super noticeable. You could just dodge everything. You wouldn't really have to worry about it very much. Is this... That is a scavenger. Okay. Would you please move? I should really get a lantern. I want to trade with this scavenger. Yes. Give me. We're going to be going to subterranean at some point, so I'd really like to make sure I have a, a lantern for that. Oh, no, not subterranean. Uh, you know what I mean. Shaded Citadel. There's a part of me that really wants to start grappling the ceiling above these Minos birds. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really feel Rivulet's drawback. I mean, I get what you're saying about the drawback. Oh, I seem to keep warm. Possibly in- oh, holy fuck, he went flying. Possibly indefinitely in the subterranean, or perhaps it's based on whether or not I'm in the snow? There seems to be some dynamic element to my warmth. Will possibly putting the lantern inside me improve my ability to stay warm? I'm not really too sure, but I notice I'm still at full warmth. Like, this, this feels incredibly good. I caught up to the fucking Minos bird by just grappling at super speed. Is that a, is that a lizard? That is, that's a mole lizard. Oh god, this mole lizard's gonna fucking kill me. There's a lot of birds, yeah. Please eat the mole lizard. Thank you. Thank you, bird. I, I do have heat pips, yeah. Hibernating does warm me up, yeah. Uh, but I just felt my controller vibrate. Which usually, maybe we don't start losing temperature until a certain point where like snowfall hits a, a heavy level. I really want to just grapple over these Minos birds, but that feels really risky. Oh, we cannot go there. Whenever there was a place we were going to lose temperature.
Okay, yeah, yeah, we're losing temperature now. <laughs> Lantern mouse train, okay. Uh, this is the room with the albino leviathan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. I... Uh, do we go up or right here? Uh, let's take a look. We go up. Down is to filtration system. We go up. Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh, I can't spew monster kelp, which means I have to... Okay. Give him a little loop-de-loop. -loop. According to... Discord, uh, Gourmet Spears were not tired deal approximately 2.5x damage. That sounds reasonable. That's, that lines up with what I felt. Because his damage when not tired was fucking insane. I seem to be regaining warmth down here. It's possible the subterranean... Has some element of built in warmth. Or just being outside of. So if I want to go for Nomad, I don't actually want to rest at this shelter. I want to come down here. And then rest at the first shelter in Shoreline. Gourmet has the power to throw spears like a railgun, reassemble things at the molecular level, and has a white hole for his stomach. Yeah, Gourmet felt weird at first, but as soon as I realized the fucking insane spear damage that he has, that changed everything. Like, going around insta killing most of the things in the game, I fucking, like, two shot a vulture with regular spears. Oh, God. Wait. Was that the... My temperature is not good here. Maybe I want to stay out of the water. And the only slug cat with a happy ending? Uh, well, don't spoil the rest of the endings, but I mean... Spearmaster's ending was, wasn't was sad. Spearmaster just got to go, like, chill with the other iterator, right? Survivor Monk get new stuff. Are you talking about the Outer Expanse area? Yeah, I know it said- it told me that it stayed unlocked. Okay, any of- spoilers! God, what? I mean, yes, I assume that's what it's talking about, but like... God damn, spoilers! Like, major huge spoilers! The fuck? Why would you say that? Hold on, why did we lose No Man Far Best? What? There's an echo in shoreline. I never really got to see what these things did. Are they food? 
They're just lanterns? Like, that spoils all the fun of, like, going there with a different character and getting to see, like, the cutscene and the ending with them going there. Or, like, finding out what happens. Why? So, the plan initially was to go to Shaded, but there's an echo in Shoreline. I have an idea of who it may be. It could also be talking about, like, going to moon. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Come on! Why? No! <laughs> that we were talking on Gourmand. Well, we were talking about Gourmand, not talking about what Gourmand did to other characters. That's not saying Gourmand gets a happy ending. That's saying doing that lets you take every other slug cat to Gourmand's ending. My arrows make me. Like, there's a difference between saying finishing this unlocks something for other characters and then saying exactly what it is that it unlocks. Right? Okay, hopefully this time there's also a Minos Vulture. Uh, right up here, because I don't know what to, to, like... I don't know if it would... Hold on, why are we drowning? Huh. I'm assuming being in water is lowering our temperature. Can we even get up this way? No, I think we have to... Yeah. So we've got two options. Which are... Okay, so I'm gonna check up here first. Because this area has always been... It's just been a pearl up here. Normally. Okay, it's still just a pull. I guess we'll take the pull. Why not? In that case, I am inclined to go to Moon. Jellyfish. I'm also assuming we're not going to be able to eat jellyfish as this character, which could make food in Moon a little bit of an issue. I don't think you'll only ever see in sandbox mode. Big jellyfish explode when out of water.
Uh, I should probably rest at this shelter. They're just insta die. Oh. So, every time we've entered an area with an echo, the game has given me a flash of light and that's how they indicate uh, that there's something in this area for me to find. Now, when playing the game normally, I believe five pebbles raises your maximum coma level when playing a survivor when you see him for the first time and he gives you the mark of communication. And then the four echoes you see each raise it by one. But if you go without seeing pebbles, the first echo raises it by two, I think. And since pebbles is not really in a functional state, Moon may serve the same purpose. She is in shoreline. There's a seventh pip on the Wanderer. I think Moon is where we go. This is post rivulet, so Moon is back to, well, she's in a better condition than she was in. I hope we can make this swim. Moon still seems to be submerged. I don't like the music. Fuck. Makes the trip a bit trickier. I don't know if that's more dangerous than a Leviathan, but... I want to see if these were food. Oh, we're in low gravity! Half of food. Interesting. Uh, our temperature is fine. The other thing we can do is go through this scholar passage. Because if we bring a pearl, and there's the yellow pearl here. Wait. There isn't a yellow pearl here. Interesting.
Okay. Hello, Moon. Oh, that thing's open now. I feel it too, don't you, strange one? We've only just met, but our perceptions will soon pout ways. Go on, our cycles will meet again. There isn't much left on any of these. Pokemon will take so much exposure to the environment before the data inside is boned away. All that's left now is a pale white image. You can only make out single pieces on it. Huh. We could give these to the scavengers. Their fascination for scanning out scanning objects is probably not changed. I'm sure they will find a better use in one of their collections. Okay. This gate is actually visible now, unlike when we were playing as Rivulet, when it was invisible. But we can still go through it. Why do they have toll gates? For whom do they have toll gates? I assume it's for other scavengers. Like maybe different clans of scavengers? Am I hearing the music? I think the echo's up here. Fuck. Actually, hold on. Maybe we can't even get Scholar. I don't know. I feel like there's a pretty good chance that Pebbles is just, like, completely fucked at this point. Okay, let's see what's up here. Okay, first up, is this area accessible? Okay, this area is still inaccessible. The next question is... Is there anything off here? Losing temperature pretty quickly in this snowfall. It was freezing rain. More of it. Yes! There's an echo here. Which means I actually don't want to... Hold on. Will it preserve me meeting Moon? Probably, right? I know it's teleport me back. So I don't have to walk all the way back out of shoreline, and this will teleport me back to the last shelter. I hope we have the temperature for this. I didn't consider that one. I'm making a bit of a gamble here. that we make it there before we freeze. I don't think we're going to. Fuck. Hold on. We can do it. We can do it. I believe. 
I believe. Just make it to the... Make it to the Echo. I'm fine with being Popsicle Cat. Just let me... Okay, okay. It's warm here. It's warm here. Our temperature is raised. There seems to be a dynamic warmth system going on. Hello, friend. You stand upon our creation. I toiled away into my final breath, as did many of us through countless generations. Research, shipments, architecture, computation, politics, worship, revolutions. I was happy. He was excited. Okay. All for a heap of rusted metal steeped in a puddle of frozen water. I placed my faith into the hands of random gods. Now I must endure it to the end. Okay. Next is Shaded Citadel. Shaded Citadel. Uh, let's look at Shoreline's map. See exactly how we get there. Uh, so we are currently okay. Okay, we gotta go up there. So we have to go we're currently right here. Up. Looks like we take the middle path in that room. And then go straight right. And that'll take us there. The middle path in the three room area. Feel the dialogue here? Yeah, it's very somber. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we can actually get the scholar. I will see if sleeping with this pearl in the next chamber gives me a pip towards it. It seems like a lot of the passages aren't available on this character. Or at least some of them. Wait. Oh fuck, we're here! I forgot, we rested at that shelter. Okay, we gotta go back then. Fuck, but how do we get there from... Hold on. Let me check that map again. We're currently here. If we go... Up... To there, but then go left. Take that middle path up. Then that takes us there. Okay. Okay. So, what's required to unlock the Downpour Slug Cats, aside from the Saint? Because when I started playing Downpour, I already had all of them unlocked except for Saint. Uh, do you have to do anything in particular to unlock the other four? Command and artifice, Artificer are unlocked un alongside Hunter. Okay. What about Rivulet and uh, Spearmaster? Spearmaster and Rivulet are unlocked by beating either Gourmand, Hunter, or Artificer. Okay. Uh, hold on. Which of these was it? I think it was this one. Saint requires Spearmaster... Not Spearmaster or Rivulet. Spearmaster and Rivulet. Right? Do 
Four? Yeah, it definitely said and rivulet. I mean, that's why we played as Spearmaster and Rivulet, is because we wanted to unlock Saint, but we had to, uh... Well, that's why we played as those two, uh, on stream. Yeah. We get to see what Shaded Citadel is like. Is this the... I suspected that Five Pebbles' machine we might have collapsed. This may be the... Fallout from that. That or we just took a long turn entirely. Suppose we'll find out. Five pebbles became no pebbles. Yeah. I mean, as soon as I went right from Chimney Canopy and his thing just, like, wasn't there, I was like, huh. Well, we took pebbles as gravity stabilizer, and when Moon lost her gravity stabilizers or whatever, um... She fucking, like, fell into the ocean. That or falling into the ocean made her lose them. One of the two. Um. I don't recognize this area at all. Wait, no, this is five pebbles. I recognize this area. He did fall. Let's go see what's up with him. The karma gate should be right here. Okay. Let's see what's up. I wonder if I have to worry about my temperature in here. I wonder what the fuck this place is going to be like. was both moon structures were crumbling for lack of water and then her backup batteries were lost. Hmm. Silent construct. Okay. There's a thing in here. There's a lizard in here. Fuck. I want to make sure we find a shelter. I recognize this shelter. Okay. So we're in the collapsed ruins of five pebbles, which apparently has been overrun with wildlife now. Now what's interesting to me 
is... Where the... Oh, hold on. See, like, what? <laughs> that's the second time that's happened. Just insta-chieftain. Uh, I did not obtain a pip towards the scholar, though. So I'm gonna stop carrying this pole around. The leg did collapse. Yes. If this is five pebbles, like the top area, then the leg underneath it would have had to have, like, completely collapsed. You know, as long as we don't have uh move please. Please move. Um Daddy Long Legs everywhere. I can't I count this as a win. I sure do love when scavengers... Uh, oh, God. Uh, please move before the lizard comes. I would like to be able to avoid it. Stop. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm not helping you with that. You did that to yourself. Hmm. A lot of blue lizards. A lot of blue lizards. I'm really hoping that blue lizard does not, right now, come back through here. Okay, good. Minus birds. I was gonna say that blue lizard wasn't the brightest, but it seemed to work out for him. Um, but that put us in the... Oh, okay. Never mind, he's not the brightest. So... I am still missing two echoes. One of those echoes is in this area, at least. However, this area, spatially, is where, um, the Shaded Citadel is, was. Room-wise, it's five pebbles. Both of those areas have an echo in it. So I'm not sure which of the two echoes we're going to find. Uh, I'm also quite concerned of freezing right now. Um, where the hell are we? I'm trying to make sense of this spatially. The shoreline must not be an actual ocean. Oh, that's where the echo is. It's just a large pool of water on the collapsed structure. And because this is above it, and there's another, like, big lake of water. Um, this is... Isn't this the underhang? 
This is the underhang. Yeah, I remember this room. Those all should sit at this shelter. We still have our caramel flower, and there's plenty of food here. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So, after reviving Moon as Rivulet, is the rest of the map snowy? Oh, we can get Monk and Saint. Like, if I were to continue as Rivulet. Welcome to the two freest passages of your life. Oh. It's Spitter Spiders. It didn't actually hit me, thankfully. But... Oh, that one hit me. Fuck. Wait, did it not paralyze me? Functionally identical to Survivor? What is? Damn it, fuck. Monk and Saint Pat. God! Get off of me. I don't understand what happened there. But apparently, the spider didn't bite me. I grabbed the spider and then threw it off of the ledge. I think. Spatially, this kind of feels like... Uno Reverse. So much for being a saint. I mean, I could fucking genocide those things with Spore Puffs. If I cared to bring them. I think... I mean, there are weapons I can use, namely spore puffs against insects. I don't know if, um, explosives. Obviously, explosive spears I wouldn't be able to. I don't know about, um, the explosive balls. Um. I'm guessing this is the subterranean echo. Oh, is it up there? I think I see the visual effect. That thing streaming down. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Fuck! No, fuck! Damn it, no! Okay, uh, rip that dialogue. Our presence has been revealed to you now, young one. Well, I guess that's all we have to say about that.
Okay. Um, that was the only echo in this area. However, I still want to s climb up here and see if anything's going on with pebbles. God, I fucking hate spitter spiders. There's no way for me to fight this fucker. Baited him around. I'm assuming that that was not the intended path to get to that echo. <laughs> Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it. Normally there's such a non-issue with like any other character. Because you just throw a spear at them and they're super weak and easy to kill. But god, this specific room. He's being a real pain in the ass. Fuck off. Get off of me. Get off. gonna get paralyzed? No? That's lame. Uh, isn't this the underhand? I uh, thought it was... Okay, I mean, I can try evasive tactics. This room kind of fucking blows, not gonna lie. I really want my car off. It heard that? get fucking paralyzed again. Please leave me alone. I 
These things never have a fatal bite, I'm pretty sure, but... Oh, we're dead. God, this room sucks! You have a vivid memory of this place with the artificer as you blew up every spider. I don't remember spiders being in here normally, but... Having to go upward against enemies I can't see... ...that seem to have incredible detection senses... ...to the point that I couldn't sneak past it in pipes... that one. Okay, I guess they just lined up in a way that couldn't find me that time. The saint has very nice, uh, ambiance. With the world kind of uh, dying and becoming sterile in the snow. Don't tell me that's a miner's fault. There's a white lizard! Fuck! And it was a lethal bite. Take back what I said, the ambiance sucks. You try to take it in, and there's a fucking white lizard that you can't see because of the snow. That's what I was concerned about. I noticed that pretty early on, uh, and it was one of the things I was... ...concerned about being an issue, is seeing white lizards in the snowy areas. What does this sluggy do? Tongue. He gives great head. Yeah, this one's main thing is it's pass it's basically pacifistic. Um but in exchange it has a long Spider-Man tongue. Where it can just grapple. Do you remember the grappling worms? I don't know if you saw those earlier. It's like having an upgraded version of that permanently. Okay. Is that lizard still in there? It's over there now. Fuck. My tongue is better than his. Okay. I won this tongue battle royale. I'm the last one standing. I also never want to do that again. I would really appreciate a shelter. But yeah, the other thing is, um, instead of rain in this world, uh, it's a freezy world. So I imagine the intended path to go to that echo was probably climb up this here and then walk to the side so you could actually hear its dialogue. Yes, yeah, snow world instead of rain world. Hold on. Is there anywhere to go here? Was the echo a dead end? I think the echo was a dead end.
Unless I could climb up that wall there. But... It's kind of feeling like that was a dead end. No, we couldn't explore up there, because I tried, but, like, the terrain didn't actually have collision. Okay, I think we go back, then. Maybe there'll be another path we can take down there somewhere. We have one more, uh... Somebody had mentioned this earlier, and I haven't really felt it as an issue at all, but like the the saint's food, I haven't really had any issue getting food. Okay, let's see if there was another path we could take that would bring us... Let me check over here. To make sure there's not a... Okay, yeah. It's a dead end. It's a bit less exciting on the trip back. Oh, this is a bad place for a vulture. Okay, this is fine now. Uh, is it possible to go over here? Minospurred Vulture Kill. Uh, my temperature meter seems to have disappeared. Alright, I want to go left here. Huh. Maybe because it's warm here, we don't have to worry about our temperature. So, in the event that this does not lead us to another echo or important story point, we need to find where the seventh echo is. Hang on, this is an invisible... The shelter? Okay. This looks promising. Okay. A 
Under normal conditions, I think that echo we just got is probably the one... Um, in the subterranean. That's not the subterranean, the Shaded Citadel. Which would make the last echo the one on top of the wall. So maybe if we keep climbing Pebbles' area, we could find it. Minus vultures are gonna be here. Minus birds. We haven't. Hmm. Interesting that this game seems to have pretty much no screen UI. Yeah, it's pretty much just that down there whenever you eat or die. The game is very uh, UI light and like. Hang on. Isn't this. Oh, this is just left over here. I could go left. Okay. Yeah, it's very minimalistic in the UI. It's very minimalistic in the information that it gives you. Really everything. It's a very minimalistic game. Um, which has its ups and downs. There were some points where that's kind of annoying. Like when we got lost for fucking forever yesterday. Can we go up here then? Mmm, I don't like spider. I don't like spider. I don't like spider. That's a scavenger, which I am fine with. Unlock here. Oh, we unlocked Saint. Are those? <clears throat> those things that kind of remind me of the daddy long leg shit. Their eyes. Yeah, it makes it a very immersive and unique experience. But it can also make it incredibly frustrating for new players. You got stuck in the sewers because you didn't know how to swim properly. I fucking hated learning how to swim. The swimming mechanics in this game, with the information provided, fucking suck. There would... You have a really wide turning radius, it's hard to steer, you have leeches grabbing you. The fact that swimming faster depletes your... Um... Uh, breath. 
that was the big one for me, is like, okay, you're trying to get through an area, and so you try to swim faster, but swimming faster is what kills you. Along with the fact that you just, like, gradually lose, uh... Okay, looks like warmth isn't an issue here. You, your light around you just gradually goes away. Swimming faster uses more breath. Yeah, but, like, it also gets you there faster. Or, like... I don't know, I felt like that mechanic was not... The swimming mechanics are just not... Hold on. What the fuck is going on in here? There are a fuck ton of spiders. There's a slug cap bioluminescent. No. No. God damn it. Spider, spider, jackass. Um. God, the fucking spiders in the vents. Please save me. Okay. So, when you're swimming, there is a light around you. Under normal circumstances, the slug cat does not produce light. The light surrounding your character is your indication of your, like, air. And it'll gradually blink and very rapidly deplete when you are drowning. And you'll, you'll just, like, struggle. And die. Yeah. Uh, there's a really interesting mechanic going on here. For this character. Which is... Warmth instead of, like... Drowning in the rain. When the, when the cycle ends. Instead of that, we have our freezing meter on the bottom. Which wasn't an issue when we were inside there, because that place was warm. Um, but now that we're back out in the snow, uh, we have to actually worry about our body temperature. But I think it's not too much of an issue in this area. Might be an issue here, though. Get the... Get out. It's just right over this lip. Lip. Yeah, there we go. What? We have to go up? Okay. I see. What's the end goal? Not actually entirely sure. Fuck. Was there a hole that I missed? Is one of these functional? No? I don't think I can make... Is this... Climbable? Hold on, wait, wait, was this a... That's where we came from. Maybe I can make this jump. Oh, that looks like I might be able to do it. It's a rough jump, though. Damn. 
Okay. That was a tricky platforming section. Saint playthrough. The goal is surviving while spreading my religion to the living things in the environment. That's about right. Okay. Right now, if you remember the... If you were here for the other streams, the area called Five Pebbles, uh, which was like the low gravity area with all of the like blue tentacle monsters and things, we are in the collapsed ruins of that area right now. We are a very long period of time after all of the other slug cats have been in there. Okay, now we're just in Five Pebbles proper. The world is decaying and frozen. Um, hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. There are a bunch of pearls on the ground there. Wait, is that? Hello. I'm freezing. Could you hurry it up? Little green thing. I'm not very green right now. I'm kind of freezing. Hello. Nothing here. Nothing left. Please find warmth. Alright. Oh, he's playing the song again. I would make this... Fuck, we're gonna fucking... Freeze! Get in the... Okay. Didn't realize Pebble still existed in any capacity. Yeah, he's, he's... He's not doing well, but... I really hope there's a shelter. I think this is the collapsed tunnel? Which would make this... Worse off than Moon was? Um, Moon was just fucking the dead before Hunter got there. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have any new on flies. I'm gonna be honest, it's not the type of game you were expecting after that Catboy Pebbles tweet. <laughs> That's five pebbles. That was the that was the Catboy. He's, he's fallen on some hard times. So that would make this up here. What's with Pebbles being a cat boy? Uh, it was a tweet. Uh, do you have the like link, Darkshine? You could like link the tweet or something. I don't know. Okay. So let's see if this is 
where the echo is. Huh. I wonder if... The structures in the background were either related to Five Pebbles' superstructure, or just such a phenomenal amount of time has passed that... they collapsed. Because there aren't like the, the towering skyscrapers in the background. Hmm, hold on. This is... This is the room that's normally closed off, that we couldn't enter. And this is the room where the echo would normally be. No echo here, but we do have an unlock. The screen transitions feel a little jarring. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, unique design choices in this game that lend it a particular feeling. Huh. I don't know where we are. Wait, is this... There's a shelter down there. I did see an implication, I think, by one of the uh, Rainworld's developers that uh, the reason they were continuing, they had uh, slightly increased the price of the base game was because they were continuing, they were intending to like, continue supporting it or something, which may indicate more DLCs or updates coming. Let's, why can we not get in here? Oh, it's a scavenger in the way. I don't know where we are. So I really didn't need this lantern at all, huh? Okay, well, now we need to find... There's a blue lizard. Fuck, it's a cyan lizard. Yeah. Oh, this is the wall. Okay. It's a mod on the workshop that had smooth screen transitions. Oh, okay. Okay, um... Okay. The husk. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> that lizard was trying his best. He wanted me. He really wanted me. That one does too. Oh, God. Come get me. Come get me. Come on. Get in. Gorman slide does damage to get to creatures that get hit by it. I kept accidentally killing shit as Gorman all the time. 
Like, there was the point, there's like that scavenger, the big scavenger gate, the toll in, um, oh, there's a gate down here. The big scavenger toll, um, in Shoreline, or in Garbage Wastes going to Shoreline. Uh, and I was going at it backwards from Shoreline to Garbage Wastes, because I was leaving after having visited Moon. Um, God, the spiders. And I fucking accidentally jumped on a scavenger and then immediately got motored by all of them. Fuck. Yeah, the way those spitter spiders work, again, is they shoot a paralyzing venom at you. And then... Several seconds later, you accidentally sit on the grappling room you're trying to get through on the other. You're trying to get through the underhang. Uh, I also... I somehow, when I was on a jetfish, sat on another jetfish and killed it. Like when I was like skating through the water, I managed to instantly kill another jetfish. Is this? And the Saint campaign is so food. We're a little short on food. Probably should have been looking for some. I would like to rest there, though. Any food anywhere here? Are those bubble fruit? No. Ever seen this game? Do I recommend it? That's a long story. The short answer is no. The long answer is yes, if you understand what type of game you're getting into. Do you have, like, food, though, Mr. Merchant? It's fun, but it's very difficult, yes. I would really appreciate some food. Any food here? No? It could be classified as a rage game? I don't think it's a rage game. Please get out, scavenger. Okay, there's some food. Wait, but fuck. I'm on the wrong side of it. Damn it. Well, temperature's not an issue in here. Wait, did they throw a rocket? Okay, this is back here. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see what the game was doing. This is intended to be the path backwards after meeting Pebbles. Which means we need to figure out where the last echo is. I'm inclined. Okay, so the echoes, right? Here's the reasoning. They're here regardless. There's not going to be a new echo that appears, right? 
there's not going to be something new that happens that would cause... At least I can't think of anything. No, you cannot say where the last echo is. Um. So, I'm inclined to think... The Outer Expanse and Pier are suspicious to me. Enjoying Saint? Yeah. Now, I will do a cursory check. Just to make sure. However, I believe I have explored every area in the game other than... Uh, Please stop. Thank you. Did it hit me? It did hit me. Fuck. Uh, I think we're going to passage out. I believe we've explored every area other than drainage system. And the pure and outer expanse. And it gives me the indication of when... We're in the area... Where there's an echo nearby. Let me think through the areas. I'm gonna hit the shelter and then do some thinking. Is there a shelter up here? Fuck! Save me scavengers, please. They landed the spear. I'm hoping that killed it. Yeah, it looks dead. Okay. Um. Where's the nearest shelter? There's one back there. We just hit that one? I mean, left, down, right. That's not that far away. I think I just go back there. Now that spitter spider's dead. Yeah, once we hit this checkpoint, I will take stock of things and consider where to go next. Down here. Yeah, I see what we did wrong. I wonder what happens if I bring pebbles pearls. And it was a down there, but we gotta be careful because there's a blue lizard. Which seems to... Okay. Okay. Scavenger distracted him. I am really happy that scavenger killed that red... Uh, or spitter spider. He's a real one. I do wonder what happened to that... Salmon lizard we tamed. kind of disappeared. I assume he got killed by a centipede or something, but we never saw him again. Okay. Let's take a look at things. There are 
four areas that are not marked on the thing up there. One of those is drainage system. One of them is the pier outer expanse. One of them may be like, let me look at the base game areas to see if there are any of them that we are missing. Uh, regions? Okay. Outskirts, drainage system, industrial complex. Actually, I don't think we've been to garbage wastes. We could check garbage wastes. Shoreline. Shaded Citadel, I don't think exists. Although, actually, actually, there was the gate in industrial complex that we couldn't pass through that would normally lead to Shaded Citadel. Maybe we check that out. Because Shaded Citadel would normally have the echo in it. I'm inclined to go do that. Okay. Oh. Okay, yes. We are following hunter rules. Fuck. That is annoying. Okay. I was wondering about that one. Okay. Walking out on foot then. To explain what that means, um, with every, with most of the characters in this game, you can use passages to teleport around the map to other shelters. The hunter, the game's like challenge character, is not able to do that. Uh, and similarly, this character also cannot do that, so we have to walk everywhere on foot. So, if this is going to bring us... Oh, God. Uh, shoreline... Garbage wastes path back from shoreline... Saint is this game's equivalent of Troy's legendary difficulty? No, this is not that difficult. I mean, I guess in the sense of it's the highest difficulty or whatever, but... This is not that much more difficult than the other Slugcats, I felt like. You have a tongue and everything wants to kill you, including the air you breathe? Yeah, but the tongue is an incredibly powerful tool for avoiding all the things that want to kill you. We're probably going to finish the Saint in less time and with less deaths than the other characters. I didn't check what's over here. Oh, it's just the shelter. Okay. Is there anything over here, though? Doesn't look like it. Before they give Saint, Grapple Woman, Lizard Tongue hitboxes, they can only be dis disabled by hitting them with spears. The Tongue and Moon are the only things that don't try to kill you. Pebbles doesn't try to kill you. He tries to kill you as a, like any other character, I think, except for Saint. Maybe he won't... No, he won't try to kill Rivulet, probably. Or at least a lot of characters, if you keep bothering Pebbles, he'll just fucking kill you. Oh, the safe pouch of the five pebbles biome? No, no, no. I'm not talking about five pebbles biome. I'm talking about five pebbles the character. Like, if you keep re-entering his room after he tells you to leave, he'll just fucking kill you. Right? From what you've seen, the tongue is the best ability to dodge from any of the slug cats. 
Yeah, the only one that rivals it is, like, Rivulet's low gravity shit. After picking up the power coil. Oh yeah, and Rivulet's backflip. But I found the tongue easier to control than Rivulet's movement. Is it over here? So, I think we go left. If we look at the shoreline map. Right now, I think we're right here. So, if we go left, up, we want to go there, ultimately. We could also go right down, and then left, and there's a shelter there. That looks appealing. So, right, right, down there, over there, leftmost one in that room. And this is assuming that it's the same map, which I don't know, but... So far, it's been pretty similar, so... That is the base game map I'm looking at, uh, to be clear. Oh, we already have full food. I need to worry about this. This is the one we wanted, right? Oh, fuck. Okay. Fuck, man. How do I... Avoid these jellyfish? God damn. What? I don't want to take that path. There were like two or three jellyfish there. I'm going to take the other one. I thought I went down and around it, but it followed me. I think I just avoid that path and take a different one. Um, if we go left instead, up, but then we can't go down there. But if we take that path, then we could get there and there's the shelter there. Okay. I'm going to go left in that crossroad area instead. And see if that gets us there. Do we have to get out of here again? No, we were right here.
Okay. So I'm going to check garbage wastes in that gate to where Shaded Citadel normally is, and probably drainage system. But failing those... Also, I am going to put this pearl in my mouth. Actually, uh, but if we're going to where Shaded Citadel normally is, maybe we do actually want to make sure we have this. Although we have enough reputation with scavengers, we'd probably just take their lantern and they wouldn't care. Right, spider's back. Hello, spider. Goodbye. Get off of me, you fucker. Get. Okay. Can you normally effectively spear jellyfish? I don't think I ever tried. Because I only really saw them as rivulet. And you just outmaneuver them easily. Hold on, what is that up there? Did I ever try this? Did I ever see this? Hang on, I recognize this area. This is... Yes, this is where we want to be. Because this is... This is this room there, I think. And we took that there, so we're gonna take the left path. And then there's one down in the water there. We take that. And we take that. And we take that. So left path there. There's a vulture, but as long as it's not a minus vulture, I feel. Oh, it is a minus vulture, fuck. This. Okay. Uh, please move, Mr. Lizard. Mr. Lizard, please move. There should be a shelter right here. Are you fucking kidding me, man? There's like a clusterfuck of five ye yellow lizards right outside this shelter. Okay. Well, we made it out of five pebbles. Um, if you want to go to garbage waste from here, we just keep taking the left paths. Left, left, left. It's not very far at all.
this music is nice. Digging it. The downpour soundtrack has been awesome. Damn it, fuck. I do wonder why... As the game's timeline has gone on, right? Um... The lizards seem to be... Just... They seem to just gradually turn into yellow lizards. Or be replaced by yellow lizards. Can yellow lizards swim? Kind of. Oh god. What's it looking like now? Hmm. Oh god. Okay. Uh I don't think we have a choice. I'm gonna go for this down here. Continue going left. If we can continue going left, we continue going left. We cannot continue going left. This is the hole we want. Okay, we're here. Please don't be a jellyfish here. Please don't be a jellyfish here. Fuck. Oh, that's not a jellyfish. That is a jellyfish. Dude, what? This game fucking hates me. Okay, I see the path. I, I see the line. I see what we got to do. Man, I am not looking forward to having to get past both a jellyfish and a leviathan. Uh, we're probably going to have to take a break on that uh, island there. Better find an opportune time. This was a good path. This worked really well. I need this leech to get off me. I think I can just... Okay. Okay. No leeches. No. Okay. Oh, the leeches are on me. They just didn't get enough of them on me. Okay. We don't have any fucking food. Uh, there were bubble food that we passed that we could have eaten. Hopefully there will be some bubble food in here. Okay, do you leeches want to get off of me, please? Alright, we have bubble food. I'd rather not go to the leech water to eat these bubble food. The way leeches work is they grab you and um, slow you down. And if enough of them grab you, they'll weigh you down enough to the point that you drown. Um, I 
Okay. I'm gonna shelter in garbage wastes. Okay. We will see if the echo is in garbage waste. I don't think that it is, but we can pass back through here and uh, just garbage wastes. Garbage waste connects to uh, industrial complex, which was our plan for getting to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're looking for... We are here. We want to get here. So we just go left, left, top paths, and keep going left. We do not want to take that path there. But for the most part, we just keep heading left. Okay. Unless there is an echo here, in which case we stop to look for it. This room should be easy to get through. And get the food from. I don't... That's the danger music. Is there something in this room? Oh, spiders, okay. Hey, fuck off. That killed me? Okay. I guess it was doing a lunge and not a grab. Faster than the spider. I do not mind having extra pearls, though. Glacial wasteland. Okay, the echo does not seem to be here. Can we just sneak past him? Yes, we can. Okay. We don't need this pearl. Here. Take your pearl. Take it. Take it. Okay. There you go. Yeah, scavenger... Uh, body language is very descriptive and you can tell what they want from you and how they're feeling based on like looking at their eyes telling whether or not they're scared of you or uh, the way they're gesturing with their spears whether they want you to stop whether they want you to give them something whether they want you whether they're trying to throw it at you
A big part of avoiding enemies in this game and staying alive when facing them is just figuring out how to read their body language and what they're doing. Like figuring out whether or not lizards are aggroed to you. Or... That's a harpoon lizard. Salmon lizard. As I like to call them. Okay. I know Spulcher. Okay, I think that vulture killed that sp uh, that lizard is following me. Vulture seems to have fucked off after it ate that spider, so that's nice. Yes. How much karma am I at? I am at, uh, uh, but the drop wig won't attack us unless it's set up. Drop wigs, when they are not set up, don't. We have one more echo to get. That is what we're at. Yeah. We're fine on temperature right now. I can try to get the Nomad Passage if we can get to industrial wastes in one go. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. Almost there. What are the echoes? They are remnants of, I believe, a past civilization that had transcended with the void. Or some. Oh fuck! Then you say I couldn't passage. I can't use passages, but I can still get passages for points. Points are cool. Okay, uh, it's starting to get dangerous out here. We need to seek shelter soon. That Minos Vulture has spotted me. Fuck. Fuck. Man, Minos Vultures are brutal. What happens if you give the purple pill to moon? I don't know. I didn't try. Another question would be what happens if you bring moon's noon flies to pebbles? Five pebbles? No idea. I mean, he kind of... I, I don't think he would want us to help him, because the way we would help him would be by getting stuff from Moon, who he... Uh, chose to do what he's doing now as... Uh, to help her. Pass me through. Wave me through. There we go. But, like, you can take, uh, five pebbles as no on flies. Maybe bring another lantern to pebbles. I am not going to take the trip back there. I cannot use passages. I'm not walking back there on foot. It was a very long way to get there. Uh, but yeah, like with normal moon, you can take uh, pebbles as noon flies and bring them to her. And she'll have dialogue uh, and whatnot. 
So I'm wondering if there's... The inverse has... Good thing Saint doesn't know the blue food wraps actually pupae. Okay, I'm hoping I don't just get fucked up by a Minos Vulture again. Oh god. Climb. Feel fine dodging regular vultures. The Minos ones that are concerning. They're so grabby. Hello. Goodbye. Seen a video of HLL once? It's real. Um, the current hypothesis we're working with is that if you fail as a hunter, if you do not ascend and you poma die, um, that the hunter long legs will be present in either that area or that room as the gourmand. Because I did not see it, but, uh, I know other people have in variable areas. When we died in last time? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, and I will choose not to rest there. Let me look at uh, industrial complex map real quick. Yeah, there's a... There's one not too far away. Can you get to the slug cat tree as saint? I don't know. Nor do I want any spoilers about anything that is capable as saint. And I would also avoid mentioning anything... Um, related to the endings of other characters like that. I know what you're talking about because I have finished the game as Gourmand. And somebody else had spoiled that that was possible as other characters now. Uh, earlier today. But... That is the sort of thing that I would not want to know. Uh, okay. Is it following me? Hunter is dead dead? Well, that's the question of is Hunter dead dead? <laughs> because I, I do think it's really interesting, the idea of the dynamic canon, depending on whether or not you completed the game as Hunter or whether or not you failed. Okay. Uh, and then we want to left. We gotta go up there. Um, I only have one option until we get here. The first time we have multiple options, we go right, middle path, grapple up, go right, and then I'll recognize where I am. Okay. Isn't the only mindless in the corpse has excise. I mean, your every slug cat corpse has excise when it dies, just as a, a a point to note. When you die, you get excise. Yeah.
Yeah, but I'm saying as, like... Oh, hello, yellow lizard. I was not thinking there would be that many of them. I am interested to know the specifics of why that the hunter long legs occurs and where it occurs. Do I know the theory from Hunter's Ending? Uh, no, I don't. Hello. Good. Oh, I didn't think you would grab me there. Damn. figure behind him when he ascends. No idea what you're talking about. I haven't looked at the hunter ending in a very long time. Uh, nor if that information relates to other endings would that be something that I want to know. But in a vacuum, that information is, I guess, fine. But if it relates to any content related to downpour, I do not want to hear it. Would be my answer there. Oh look, that lantern mouse! It's the bot! It's got excise! Lantern mouse long legs! God damn! Okay, centipede, put it in work! They just mean dead. No, excise. It, it's, uh, it's the rot. Since you don't remember Hunter ending. I mean, I don't remember the picture that shows up with Hunter ending. I mean, it's been a minute since I beat the game as Hunter. Like, this is the room where having the grapples is awesome. Okay, there's a center wing here, but I think we can get here before it. Okay, the center wing's nowhere nearby. Uh, okay. Is it following? I can never tell what they're doing, God. Okay. Off to sit Citadel. Vulture is leaving. The miner's bird tunnel in the husk? Yes. That was that felt great to grapple through. There have been a few rooms that have just been super fun to grapple through. Uh, can we just go up here, maybe? Please get in. Thank you. You can outpace the birds. I was scared to try. I thought I might be able to, but those things are fast. I 
really like this thing to leave. But we could just... I don't think it knows where we are exactly. It probably does now, but... Let's see if Citadel is the answer we're looking for. The water areas out in the open are rather awful to go through. They were quite annoying to swim through. The jellyfish, going around the jellyfish and leviathans and shit and shoreline and garbage wastes. Um, and then there was the one time we were just way out in the open and a fucking Minos vulture uh, comes down and just kills us and I... I don't really know what to do about that one. Okay. So... If this is not the area... Then... My next guess would be the pier and the outer expanse. they sub areas uh pew and outer expanse are the same area i don't know if outer expanse counts as a sub area of pew or whatever but Hmm. This isn't looking promising. I haven't seen the flash of light. And every other time we've gone to an area with one of the echoes, we see the flash of light. Go a bit further in. No, I don't think this is the right place. I don't think. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. what we're going to do. What are those yellow orbs? They're like void shit. Outskirts check drainage system. And regardless of whether it's in drainage system or not I think we go through that to filtration system and then head left past filtration system to get to the pier and outer expanse oh whoops I meant to have that map on whatever because every other time we've entered an area that had the thing we need um, they would immediately, like the moment we leave the shelter, be a flash of light. And I have not seen that anywhere. Well, I could... Maybe it's proximity-based? 
I wouldn't want to leave and then have it be here and then miss it. I'm going to check the Shaded Citadel map once again. So under normal circumstances, it's all the way, way off to the right in the Shaded Citadel. I should probably run over there and check. I feel like. If we keep top paths and keep heading to the right, it won't be terribly long, I think. I want to make sure we can rule this out as not being here. I also go ahead and take out my lantern. And I would be remiss to make a mistake and then have to walk all the way back from Outer Expanse. Once we go to Outer Expanse, I do not want to have to come back. Right. The extra echoes and saint. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. That looks like a bit of pebbles that's fallen down. Yeah, this is... I need this lizard to move. This is the wall. Yeah, Shaded Citadel seems to have been... Yeah. Completely crushed and is no longer existent. And the area that the Echo was in, I think, is just the Five Pebbles area. So I think I am going to rule out the Shaded Citadel. And we're going to head back, go to Outskirts, and check. I, I don't think there's any chance in hell it's in Drainage System. But actually, actually, hold on. Um, I'll need to check the map. It might... If we go through drainage system and then back, walk back through the subterranean the other way, with the filtration system and whatnot, uh, that would actually be quite long. Whereas if we... Um, Just like, if it's not in drainage system, we just rest and walk backwards. Uh, it's actually a very short trip, because it would just be uh, the farmer raised to subterranean path, which I don't think is terribly long when coming from the outskirts. Uh, we'd have to go through the uh, reindeer again, but... It's probably better than trying to go through filtration system and whatnot. Outer Expanse seems to me like the most likely candidate for where an Echo would be. Because that's the only place in the game that I feel like would have new content in it. Such as a new Echo. Uh, also, I... I should probably keep this lantern in my stomach in case we end up going through filtration system for any reason. 
And then we'll have to go through filtration system, assuming that this plays out the same way we get to Tenkoma, then we go down filtration system into the into the depths. Um, we're gonna want a lantern because we don't have uh no on fly. So we don't produce light passively. Yeah, I don't see any reason. How many echoes? We have six echoes. Oh. Yeah. We're looking for the seventh. That is the one that we do not have. And do not tell me where it is. There is one more echo that we need. some other way of getting coma. There's some other goon just hiding away like a rat somewhere. That's what we're working with now, as the idea now, yeah. Um. Because we visited Pebbles, we visited Moon. Um. The only other areas I know of, I mean, I don't see how we would get down to submerged superstructure without... I mean, I haven't seen jetfish. I suppose I, I could also possibly see... Oh yeah, the... What it was is... We found six echoes. We need seven. One of the echoes in the base game seemed to not be present. And there was an extra echo past moon that we found. That or that echo was one of the base game ones that was just over there for some fucking reason. But... Um, I think the echo up above Ebbles was missing. Yeah. Bubbleweed? I would get one bubbleweed, which I don't think is enough, uh breath to get down there, because it's a long fucking swim. God, center wing, fuck off! God damn it. This thing is... Okay. Seems to have fucked off, finally.
Now, the only thing that makes me uncertain about this one, this being the solution for where the Echo is, is that I don't believe you have to beat the game as the Gourmand in order to unlock Saint. Which means if you have to go to the Gourmand's area to beat the game as Saint, that feels weird. But in a similar way, well, I guess you do have to beat the game as Rivulet. But I don't... I, I, I just don't see getting down to submerged superstructure being, like, viable. Yeah, I know what you did here. I don't know. Worst case, we just make the trip back. Thought you needed all of them to get to Saint. You do not. Uh, we have beaten the game as the the Gourmand. Uh, I did that off stream. The only character I have not beaten the game as is Artificer. checked filtration system. I have not checked filtration system. However, I was planning on going through garbage wastes, or not, not garbage wastes, um, wait, this isn't, I'm gonna go this way, uh, drainage system to filtration system, and then going through subterranean that way. Because filtration system was one of the other major areas. Filtration system is a sub area, is the thing. But, it is one of the other areas I would check, which is why, okay. This is the lizard that lives right next to us, so... What is that vulture doing? Take the shortest path to, path to check each of them in order. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be going through drainage system to filtration... Drainage... Drainage system? Yeah. To filtration system. Let me double check where this gate is. Down here, right? Yes, it's right below us. And then... We'll basically be making a Z-shape. Uh, we would want to go... So we would go right, and then take the middle path down, and then go left a bunch to get to filtration system. So yeah. That's the path we're taking. Not looking forward to filtration system though.
Does that lizard have a name, by the way? I keep calling it Salmon Lizard, because I think it's kind of like a salmon color. Um... The one that like shoots out its tongue and then walks to where its tongue is, if it hits you. Peach lizard, cream lizard, grapple lizard, grapple lizard. I like salmon. Grapple lizard flows off the tongue roll. Oh, no, it's in... For some fucking reason, it's in drainage system. Okay. God damn it. Dude, I saw you do that. God, we got drop wigs and drainage system. Undergrowth? Why is it here? Oh, okay. Um... Salmon is yummy unless you're deranged and like to eat it with ketchup for some reason. My sister does that. My sister eats ketchup with salmon. Ah, uh, this looks promising. <laughs> Sorry, my loss. Um, so presumably, the sky is changing color now. Uh... This is like the outer expanse. This reminds me of outer expanse. The growth here, these trees. Oh, uh, maybe not. I thought we were kind of getting like the... Actually, hold on. Was there... Could we have grappled up that hole? We're dead. Are you a eat a filet mignon with ketchup? That's not how you spell filet mignon. Or eat a french fries with gravy from a five-star super expensive restaurant. I don't think I'm either of those. I don't... I mean, I, I don't think I would do either of those. What? Are you a cereal with milk in a bowl kind of person? Uh, if I'm feeling bold, yeah. Is the gravy is edible? What intonation is salmon with ketchup? The thing is, eat sand. Ketchup is so sweet um, that it's an incredibly, like, generic condiment, really. It's basically just, like, a sugar condiment to sweeten things up with a little bit of tomato flavor. Um, so, like, it goes inoffensively with a lot of things. And, like, I could, like, if you're eating salmon with ketchup, it would just drown out the salmon flavor and it would just be meat with ketchup, I feel like. If that makes sense. Fucking knew he was still there. Get. Okay. Thank you, Blue Lizard. I love you. You are my friend. 
God, drop wigs when you can't see them are really not something I like. Worcestershire sauce? Literally any food with ketchup mostly just tastes like tastes like ketchup. Yeah. The only thing you use ketchup with is a grilled cheese. What the fuck? What? You dunk your grilled cheese in ketchup? That's worse than salmon with ketchup. It's a common thing here? Yeah. yeah, I can understand grilled cheese and tomato soup. But part of that is because tomato soup is warm. If you normally put ketchup on your hot dogs, yeah, I could go for a hot dog right now. They're both just processed tomato. One is hot and not like sickeningly sweet, and they also have completely different textures. I feel like that's like saying. Oh what, you don't make you don't make your croissant with pizza? I just both processed wheat. You don't make you don't use croissant as your pizza crust? Might be different kinds of ketchup. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Ketchup usually isn't that sweet. Mm. Yeah, I could see french fries with vinegar and salt. I mean, that's... That's fine. That's understandable. Yeah, if Wayne will be haven't played too much of it, busy with work and school. It's a... It's an effort to get into, is what I would say. The delay on the console port was agonizing, so you got it on PC. Oh, is it not on console? Or are you saying, like, downpour was slow to release or something? I don't really kn know much about Rain World's uh, status on other platforms. Oh, Switch. Hmm. Can Rain World run on potato? I doubt it. Uh, the game's not like incredibly demanding, but Downpour is not on console yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I get what you were saying. Yeah, you're saying that the Switch had pumped controller delay. <laughs> I... I fuck it, we're going. Oh, it didn't even see me. Holy shit, that was bright. Do red centipedes always make that much light when they expl when they zap something? Hey, NBFY. Yeah, right now, we are currently at the area with the last echo in it. We're trying to figure out exactly where that echo is. Going better than Hollow Knight? Mm. That's good. Oh god, eel. 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 
Eel. Does Saint have cycles? Yes. Is Saint... Actually, we might not have cycles down here. I don't think we have cycles down here because it's warm. Um, I don't give any spoilers, NBFY. Uh, I don't know what you're implying with that, but don't. Come on. Can't go down there. In fact, I'm considering banning you just for saying that, but it's not incredibly obvious that it, to not say no spoilers anywhere, but I don't know why you would say that. What would possess you to do that? Uh, we have temperature-based things uh, with snow and freezing, uh, and we basically just have to manage our temperature. Um... Yeah, in warm areas, we don't really have cycles because yeah, it gets based on our temperature. Um, we have a certain amount of time before we freeze. It will cause the drastic drop in temp. Um, that is related to Rivulet's campaign. Um... Specifically, and this is a spoiler for Rivulet's campaign, but reviving Moon and taking away Pebbles' power. Uh, oh fuck, I should have paid more attention. It's gonna be aggro for a little longer. Okay. God damn it! What's down here? Get me away from the dropway. The local iterators died to no steam. Yeah, that would make sense. Except for the fact... Well, I suppose it is possible. When we, um... Hold on, do I hear the music? Is this the spot? Um... Well, I... Yeah, yeah. Moon's alive. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, um... Oh, do we have the breath for this? Do we need to bring bubble weed? Fuck. That looks like it might have been the right area, but... Um, yeah, I think when Rivulet, um, went in, like, the gravity chamber or whatever, it skipped a bunch of cycles, and maybe that indicated, like, a passage of time. Uh, but the sequencing of it made it seem as though reviving, after Moon was revived, everything got snowy. Uh, I think it's following us very aggressively. It's a red centipede. I don't know what I was expecting, but Are we done now. Oh fuck! Okay, it's that scavenger's problem now.
Oh, fuck, these are the food leeches. I'm not even sure how to get these things off. aggressively okay there we go so that's how we would get to filtration system I think well, we've already been here let me check down here Oh, cover flower and a shelter. Okay. I'm interested. How to get food. Don't backseat. Don't tell me. But that seemed to work well. No, stop. There's probably an ancient named Intense Ass Wasps, and you feel bad for him. It's like the, Argon the Argonian named Shits His Pants. So I think... I think that's how we would get to filtration system. Is it worth checking? Where did we die that time? Where did we die that time? We died there. It felt like that was promising, but I didn't see any bubble weed anywhere. And I don't think that's a swim I can make without bubble weed. So I think I'm going to start exploring a different section. Probably down here. Maybe it was just a weird lighting thing and that wasn't actually where we needed to go. We'll see. Saint has tons of lore, but you won't hear from most of the stream, can anyone tell you? So, what's going on with Saint, um, this seems to take place quite a period of time after Rivulet. The world has greatly decayed. Five Pebbles' superstructure has collapsed. Pebbles himself is barely alive. Um, and Moon... We're just very blasé about things. She didn't really talk to us very much. Um, instead of rain cycles, there were cycles of freezing and sleeting rain uh, to freeze you. The echoes have different dialogue, yeah. Uh, and the saint himself is unable to wield weapons due to being weak. You can't throw spears effectively. Um, and also only eats... Uh, Is Saint the last slug cat chron uh, chronologically? Yes. I think there's no doubt about that. Um, when I was playing Rivulet, I felt like Rivulet had to be the last slug cat chronologically, but with the way Rivulet's campaign ended, I figured that it would be reasonable for, like, a post 
uh, all of that slug cat to happen, which is what happened. Is the chronological order Spearmaster, Hunter, Survivor, Monk, Artificer, Rivulet, Saint? I don't know where Artificer is. I have not played Artificer, nor, nor do I want anyone to tell me. But it seemed to be somewhere between... Somewhere in the Gourmand to Rivulet range, based on what I've played so far. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Spearmaster, Hunter, Gourmand, Survivor, Monk, Rivulet, Saint. Given the fact that Gourmand encounters Hunter Longlegs and Moon mentions her last visitor being sick, I think it's safe to assume he comes right after uh, Hunter. Spearmaster is obviously the first one, and Hunter has to be the one right after Spearmaster, because Hunter is the one that revives Moon. Um, whole plant. Okay, gotta remember those exist. First one of those I've seen. Um, and then after Gourmand, you kind of just have the fucking drop wig. Maybe I can just stop. Stop following me. Stop following me. Stop following me. Um, then obviously Rivulet is the last of the normal slug cats, given the fact that Pebbles is in severe disrepair. And then he basically, like, oh. You mind if you shared your theory on the Hunter Longlegs? Uh, okay. Here is what I will do. I, this is very obviously not where I want to go, but I will check where this is if this is filtration system. Because if it is, we want to keep this in mind. Um, depending on if that information has anything to do with the Saint campaign or the Artificer campaign, if the answer is yes, then don't. But if not, then that's fine. Saint campaign, Artificer campaign, or any new things in Downpour that are not revealed in the Rivulet, Gourmand, or Spearmaster campaign. Let me put it that way. This is garbage wastes. Okay, this is the garbage wastes path. Okay. So we know where not to go. That's to do with the hunter campaign? Yeah, I've beaten hunter campaign. Oh. I don't even know how much of it depending on what it is, I don't know how much of a theory it is versus just what it is. Um I haven't actually seen a Hunter Longlegs. I did not encounter it when I was playing as Gourmand. Uh, I've only heard about it secondhand and seen a picture. can't lose their karma if they never die. So if, uh, it seems like we don't really have to be too concerned about time here, which is nice. Encounters in a full cycle of life and ascension to go back to NOS NSH until he dies of raw cancer, after which he turns into HLL. What? <laughs> Not sure I understood that one. Fuck pole plant. Damn it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Lizard, save me. Lizard, save me. No significant harassment. Yeah, I did too, Mizzelime. 
Yeah, I know NSH is an iterator. I didn't remember the exact words. Um, I knew that was a pole plant too. I just forgot. Uh. The general consensus from the hunter ending is an iterator injected itself in the hunter so it can also ascend with hunter. I, is that the general consensus? I had never heard of that before. I don't know what consensus you're talking about. I've never heard that before. Now granted, I don't spend a ton of time looking at like main world lore and whatnot, but... Ah, oh, Dropwick's gonna kill me. I thought I could get past it before it set up. I just didn't pay that much attention to the ending cutscene. I mean, it was like one image that showed, and I saw it like months ago. Uh, it was the most recently, and for the first time years ago. Like. I just didn't think that much of it. Oh, Dropworks are fucking annoying as this character. Because, especially in long, narrow passages like this where there's no way around them, I have to aggro them. This one here, I mean... Yeah, I thought that Hunter ascended at the end of his campaign, which is why... Uh, I had heard, or I had, uh, one of the things that people had considered is Hunter, uh, long legs being selectively present depending on whether or not, um, you failed during a playthrough with the hunter. Like it's dynamically present depending on whether or not you successfully ascended or if you had failed. Um, which would explain why I didn't see one when I was playing as Gorman, despite the large amount of uh, exploration I did. Um, but I don't know. Okay, look back. Is this like a... Okay, no. Oh, a lesser peds, huh? Oh, wait, no, that's just a spider. It feels very ominous and potentially where we want to be. That or this is just leading me to filtration system, one of the two. This is totally just leading me to filtration system, isn't it? Yeah, this is a hundred percent filtration system, there's no doubt in my mind. Okay. 
Go to filtration? No, we don't want to go to filtration system. We need to find something. There was something in drainage system. There was an echo here. We need to find that. However, we will likely need to go through a filtration system. In order to ascend. Actually, let me. I'm just going to carry this in my stomach. I don't see any reason to leave it here. Um. So having found this is good. So we, because we know how to get here. But we know that where we want to go is here. We're in the right spot. There's that flash of light. Uh, as soon as we wake up from a cycle, or to start a cycle, that indicates there is a, uh, damn water spiders, an echo in this area. You can kill five pebbles puppet with a leviathan. Okay. It, I think it would be a little bit tricky to lead a leviathan in there, but I'm listening. I'm interested. That's obviously not intended. No, no, no. I mean, you just have to... Lead a leviathan to five pebbles? I mean, how hard could that be? I mean... Five pebbles is near so much water. You could very easily just, like... Have the leviathan keep chasing you. You know. Wouldn't be too difficult. Alright. See what's this way. On the bright side, if I actually keep my shelter where it is now. Oh, this is where we want to be. I think. I think I see visual distortions. It might just be like the gas thing. It's hard to tell conclusively yet, but as we get closer, it should be pretty obvious. Why can't I get in there? Get in. You dumbass saint. Get in the hole. Get. Okay, there we go. This is the right spot, definitely. Yeah. We got weird, like, white lit up jellyfish things? What? The that was a frozen. Okay. Oh, you know, they're not frozen, right? Uh. Scavengers are the ones that don't get frozen. Look, I don't normally struggle to get in holes, Dark Shiny. It was just a. It happens sometimes. New echo? Do you see the same as me? Beauty continuing to bloom even, a, even in a place long forgotten. I did not have the will to depart, nor the desire. Why did they always search for an escape as if we were imprisoned? What offering from the void could, you, could usurp the gift of life already given? This moment right here it is when we are meant to it is where we are meant to be. Let me let go. Okay. Now I just want to double check something. 
Simple yes or no. I can assume where the game wants me to go after having reached Ten Coma. Oh wait, do we even... Oh. Wait, is the game just over? No? Okay. I mean, while in the air, tap, jump, and pick up together to take fl- oh, Jesus fuck. In the air, tap, jump, and pick up together to take flight. <sighs> Hold throw and directional inputs while try while flying. So my instinct at this point is to go to the Void Sea and ascend. Let me ask this. Is there a... Would going to the Void Sea in the end doing how you would beat the game normally be missing out on a significant amount of content and or a particular ending. Let me ask that. Okay. Ban that person. Because obviously the thing that I'm thinking of immediately of wanting to do now I'm intentionally not going to do that just because of that person. Also, I don't feel like walking over there. See, I had considered going to Moon, because she had mentioned it. You would love to see me visit Moon currently? Well, now I don't want to because somebody backseated and told me to. Which defeats the entire purpose of me playing the game. The entire purpose of what I'm asking is, I'm thinking... Do I want to go see Moon because she mentioned something about seeing each other? Or like, ascending together or something. And I was considering, okay. Well, I'm interested in going to see Moon then. And then immediately telling me... Defeats the entire purpose. This is why I can't stream games and have fun playing them the same way that I would playing normally. Because there are certain things that are just completely impossible to do when streaming, and one of them is remain blind on information and on people's backseat. Which is incredibly annoying. I mean, that defeats, like, the entire... I don't understand why somebody would say that, because that defeats the entire purpose. Yeah, I know Luz... Luz Biel, but... Or Louise Bell. But... Like... 
just because the game implies something isn't telling me to do something. Like, the game has been implying the possibility of Moon Ascending, and that's what I was considering the Saints ending possibly being. And then somebody spoils the entire thing there. I would like that monster kelp. Uh, uh that unlock there. But, like, that's exactly the sort of reason why I wouldn't want to stream playing this game. Or things like that. Because it completely ruins the experience when things like that happen. In any case, it shouldn't take too long to get there. You don't know what they said? Uh, they said... In response to me asking, will I be missing any, like, major uh, content or endings uh, if I were to go down the filtration system and ascend? Uh, they said, go ascend moon first. Which is what I was considering doing anyway but takes all of the fun out of it, and all of the mystery and interest. Possible to ban somebody? I did, yes. Oh, ban them from watching? I don't know. Well, I banned them from chatting, but I don't know if that bans them from watching. Yeah, it's like finding somebody halfway through reading a book, or getting near the end of reading a book, and then just immediately telling them how the book ends. Like, right before the climax. Damn it. Are these the food leeches? God, these fucking drop rigs everywhere. I know my lantern's gone. I don't want to go to that fucking drop wig, though. God, I don't like drop wigs. Dude! 
Okay, hold on. Let me just fucking... Wait, why are we not flying? Why are we not flying? Why did we stop flying? What? Why did I stop flying? The fuck? I touched the ground? That is incredibly stupid. If it's because I touched the ground while I was flying. I just send a drop wig. If it was- if we had the ability to do passages, I would consider going to Pebbles. How's it going? It was going well, till about 20 minutes ago. Kinda sorta of, it sorta of is an understatement. I should have used the godly powers. I don't really see much reason to in this environment here. I mean, it doesn't... Like... I don't need to fly. Can I send echoes? Echoes disappear after you find them for the first time. What area are we in? Um, a drainage system, effectively. That seemed like a good decision on his part. Can I fly without Max Coma? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Pressing jump. I swear to fucking god if this drop wood comes with me. Get out. Get out. Leave me alone. He stole my lantern. Fuck this asshole.
kill it? I can't kill it. What do you mean kill it? I can't use weapons. Ascend it? If you guys are telling me that ascending will destroy creatures, now I'm not going to ascend things for the rest of the game. Intentionally. Because again, that's a spoiler. It doesn't? Okay. Pretty sure that was a joke. Well, I'm not sure, Dark Shine, because that's genuinely like one of the things I was considering as an option to deal with them. How does Saint compare to other slug cats? I didn't really think Saint was that difficult. Hang on. Is that the path we want it? Let me check uh, the map here. This place is just infested with, uh, drop breaks. Let me look at the map of garbage wastes. To get to Shoreline... Oh god, that's like the fucking daddy long leg- or the brother long legs room, but... Maybe it won't be that bad. Well, actually, I don't think that's what we want to take, is it? I think we'd want to go... Okay, yeah, we want to go up. Yeah, yeah. I never want to see another drop book again in my life. Is this a toll? Or is this a merchant? It's a merchant, okay. I don't have the ability to pay tolls, but... Actually, do I? Yeah, no, I don't have any pearls, but... Maybe we'll find some somewhere, and also I think we have enough high enough reputation with the scavengers that they won't care. God damn it! I was spamming the button! I guess I have to be in midair to use it? I was trying to jump out of the water and activate it, but it wouldn't activate. What was the ascend button? What did it tell me to press to do it? Hold grab and throw? Throw while flying with a direction key. Do I have to have something? Okay. Do I have to have something available to throw in order to do that? Maybe that was the problem. I mean, I'm 
doing that. It's not... I'm just sitting there, like, moving repeatedly for some reason. Ah! I have to hold it? I- I am holding it! Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Hold work for a long time. What's doing that? Well, if I don't go close to them, then I can just feign ignorance for not having seen them asking me to pay the toll. Surely. Well, like I said, I think we have high enough reputation that they don't care. Actually, here. What in God's name was that? Was what? Was it something I didn't see? Oh, the Minos bird. Yeah, yeah. Those things seem to be related to Moon. I'm not exactly sure how, but, um... Yeah. Hold on. There's a shelter right on the other side in Shoreline, right? On the bright side, it'll be super easy to swim past, get past all the jellyfish and stuff. Yep, there's one in shoreline. Good. Yeah, you first encounter them during Spearmaster's campaign in Moon's area, and then... It, it seemed like reviving Moon somehow brought back the Minos Vultures or something, because I think I remember seeing them in Rivulet's snowy area, and then they're here post-Rivulet. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to Moon in one fell swoop, and then we're gonna just, like, die and come back here, or something. The Minos Vultures don't fuck around. They... They are much scarier than regular Vultures. In my opinion. I 
actually, if we can go ascend moon, I might be interested in ascending five pebbles too. Like, obviously that part was spoiled. But, Pebbles is an interesting prospect. Hold on. Okay, we go faster in ascension mode when we're in the water. Good to know. Um... Let me check the fastest way to get through shoreline here. If we go here, we'll go down there. And then... I think the fastest path would be that one. But that spends a lot of time in the air. Potentially exposed to rain. But that is very fast. Let's try it. Okay, you ready? I don't know, Misaline. I don't know. Alright, let's go. And I don't want to know. Uh, we're not going to have the temperature to get there, is the thing. five pebbles you got mad and hit her with a walk when you didn't understand the beep poop language. Um, I think on my first playthrough I just ate moon snow on flies. That one there. Fight. Okay. We're not very far now. See you, Duck Shang. Let me, let me in. God, we're so fast. Vivulet doesn't have shit on this. God, there are two of them. Fuck. Dumbass jellyfish can't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to use my flying now in case we encounter a leviathan or a jellyfish or something. We need to get around. But I think we have enough time. So it's kind of hard to activate. Okay. There's the leviathan. 
Man, we really cut it close with his mouth there. <laughs> I wasn't really paying that much attention. I mean, I think when you take into consideration the fact that, um, Saint is able to fucking fly when you hit Max Coma, uh, I think Saint's movement options are definitely the strongest in combination with the tongue. Saint got cold and changed teams. Yeah, it's a nice visual indication of your temperature, at least. Wait. Is it warm in moon? Or do we have to... I forget. Looks warm. I don't think our temperature is reflecting that. Yeah, our temperature is going down. Wait, we can fly. Why am I? <laughs> I think it's warm in Moon's upper area, at least. Maybe not here. Alright, get over here. Yes, I can understand you. By what mechanism have I team achieved such a tune? Moon, you saw me, like, not that long ago. It's been a while since I've had a life form like you stumbled into your chamber. Okay, moon. Uh. I. Community service done. Let's go sleep. <laughs> he just killed her. <laughs> Slugcat kills Moon. Okay, I'm assuming there's gonna be a cutscene or something. No, no, she's... Okay. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> Let's go pop a cap and five pebbles. Okay, how did we get to five pebbles? It was, um... Uh... Just killed a god feeling good. Let's go check if see if they see if anything's different right now. Um How did we get to Pebbles? What was the connecting area? Can I eat her? Sky Islands? No, definitely not. No, we, we came... It was, uh... Subterranean? We went up through Subterranean? There's two good ways to pebbles? What's the best way? Give me some options. I want to be able to plan my path. Do 
You went through what was formerly shaded? Okay, so we can go from shaded up through the... That area connects. I do know where that is. I know how to get to there easily. I had gone through what was formerly shaded and reached the area we'd already been to. Hold on. I want to try something. I have an idea. And I really, really want to do it. Get over here, fucker. No, wait, wait, fuck. Damn it. Okay. I was afraid of him swimming away if we didn't get his attention, but he turned a bit too quickly. You know it's a bit out of the way, but can you delete Le Leviathan? Did you see what I did two seconds ago, Eat Sand? That, that's, that's... Chimney Canopy also works? How does Chimney Canopy work? Five pebbles connects to chimney canopy? It connects to the wall? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Five pebbles fucking collapsed. Minor pathfinding error. How many flight do I have? Just float my over to Pebbles. Well, Pebbles is in the ground. I wouldn't be floating to him, right? Like I wouldn't be able to. You can't just like the way. Did that thing just teleport to me? Did you see that? The way screen transitions work, we can't just fly off a screen, we have to actually go through the transition areas. And it's not a phenomenal amount of flight, it's maybe like 10-15 seconds. Alright, where is it? Where is it? What are these things? Conveniently doesn't appear. I'll go fucking wait in the shelter. Destroyed big jellyfish? Oh. I'll go wait in the shelter and maybe he'll be here this cycle. Giant jelly debris. Is it like food? Is it edible? I assume it's a meat thing. Oh, we crawl faster when we have God Mode on, too. Okay, if the Leviathan's not here this time, I think we're gonna just go. Um, maybe we'll see another one on the way. Okay, um, let's... Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Regions? Saint. Okay. So we want to get... Let's see. Uh... 
Industrial complex, outskirts. Why is this the only part of the map we have revealed? What? That map was not very helpful at all. Okay. Um, so... To get to five pebbles, not the area, but the actual, you know, puppet, what do you think the fastest path would be? Let me just ask that. Just so I know which area to go to. Yes, there it is. Wait, no, that's a jellyfish. We can just blow things up. We don't have to, like, dash at it. Okay, um, the formerly shaded route works. That's not the route I took the first time. Is that, I know that route. I got to the point of getting to the, what the fuck was it called? The husk? Is the trip from the shaded husk to pebbles, like, reasonable? Yeah, pretty reasonable. Okay. Isn't the husk what was formerly pebbles? No, the husk is the exterior. Like, five pebbles is still an area. It very well might be a leviathan, but... There is a leviathan down there. Fuck. I gotta try it. But we need to refresh our coma. There's a shelter not far. We can... Attract him up here. Okay. Let's go for it. Fuck! We ran out of coma. We're too cold is the problem. Okay, tell you what. We'll go rest in this shelter. And then we'll come this way and try it. We're it colder, faster in water? Probably. I'm also assuming that when I ascend things, that removes them from cycles. Assuming I can... I don't see why I would only be able to ascend a jellyfish, right? Like... Fuck, this was a mistake. 
We might be dead here. Okay, no, backflip. That one fucking yellow lizard. Please move. Please move. Okay, Jesus Christ. Wait. Is this lizard alive? I figured out any ways to regulate my heat. Um. Not really. I mean, I know that, uh, shelters. Uh, uh, shelters will regain your heat, and... All right, let's go look for that Leviathan. I don't mind dying. There he is. There's that motherfucker. Get blasted! All right. Leviathan dead. Literally a wizard? Fuck! No, wait, no, I can't... No! Out of spell slots? No, 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 it's the fact it's being a wizard that's the problem. I wonder if... Scavengers will know that I'm the one that blasted them if I blast them. Oh, you wanna fucking go? You wanna fucking go? He didn't wanna go. It's very difficult to blast that thing. I, I think I have to aim my cursor on it to blast it. Oh shit, we gotta re-blast everything. Hold on. Or is the Leviathan already blasted? Oh, uh, Leviathan might already be blasted. There were fewer lizards that time. I did die, yes. God, Saint over here just the charge blaster cannon. Wait. Fuck, I took the wrong path. God damn it! Let me activate my blaster! Get blasted! Oh, I don't think I can blast them because they're not alive. They're mechanical. I think the hitbox is just bad? The hitbox seemed very generous. You can't just have a weird hitbox, huh? They're mechanical? See, I get the irony of saying that after I blasted a leviathan. Yeah, I...
You have to hit their head. Mm. Yeah, mechanical's not the right word, but... More like... I don't know if they're like sapient. Alright, this is just the getting revenge on everything that's ever killed this one. Hold on, can I blast leeches? These guys are fucking... I don't get how to blast these fuckers. They are so incredibly aggressive so quickly. Like, I don't have time to charge up the blaster. Hide in a hole? There's no hole to hide in here. I tried doing that underwater. They just uh, ran underwater without a care. That little cave? There's not anywhere, like, maybe in here? That's not an actual place, though. Yeah, I, like... They are insanely accurate the second that they see you. If they have a line of sight of me, with me, they will kill me within like a second or two. Well, the thing is, Luis Bell, I have to recognize that it's there and get back there within time, which is super difficult to do with how aggressive and dangerous those things are. Like, this screen is not a screen where I can test this on. Maybe a different one I'll have the opportunity to. But it's going to be fucking impossible for me to do this here. Without an incredible amount of difficulty. That little overhang can give me cover? Not from a Minos bird. Vulture. They will just put their head in and kill me. This thing right here, this isn't a real overhang. That's not real. That's just... It looks weird. I can't actually get in there. Man, Saint can rack up a fucking insane body count, then. Oh, I can eat this thing. Okay. From do no harm to do all harm. Uh, they're like a pupa. They're not an egg, but yeah. <laughs> Gone delete. I want to test. I mean, we could blast fucking leviathans. I don't think there's going to be anything we can't blast. The other thing is, I haven't been able to, to check yet, but 
I would suspect that blasting them, like, permanently deletes them from cycles. Because of, like, what ascension is. Oh yeah, the Guardians probably have like a fuck ton of- they only have like 10 million HP or something. I mean, I know what the Guardians are, I've beaten the game before. Oh, you like to- where'd he go? I blast that motherfucker. Blast him! God damn it! Minos Vulture's gonna kill me! Stop! God, these guys are fucking absurd! These enemies are insane! Just blast them a few times? I've tried blasting them a few times! Just run through them? No, I want to try to blast them, Nick. You drop my lantern, what reaches it first? The drop rigger or Minos Vulture? Trick question. Uh, the Minos Vulture doesn't care about the lantern, it just eats the drop wig, which I already got the lantern. Hear him. Dude. Yeah, I... I don't know how the fuck you blast these guys. Need better cover? I've been doing nothing but getting better cover gradually every single time. Like, I have to be in the air in order to activate the god mode. You don't just want- No, I want to blast them. These fuckers deserve to get blasted. I don't think my range goes to the edge of the screen is the thing. Beehives? Maybe beehives. But I don't know if Minos Vultures are even going to give a fuck about beehives. They give a fuck about nothing. Maybe we can get something else to distract one. And that'll give us an opportunity to eat it, or to kill it. Oh, you want a toll? Fuck you, I'm a god. I don't pay tolls. Hmm. 
surely somewhere, but whether or not we find that spot, Louisville. Please activate. Who's next? Is it you? This one's a regular vulture. We can deal with him, no problem. From a saint to a sinner? No, no, no. In my, in, in our religion, this is, this is not a sin. There is a beehive over there. What the fuck? These things have insane pathfinding. Like, regular vultures will have, like, the moments where, like, they'll bob and weave and you can, like, maneuver around them. These things don't. They lock directly onto you and will fly directly at you. And it's, like, insanely difficult to outmaneuver them. Flashbangs? I don't have flashbangs. Where, where am I going to get a flashbang from? This is why Saint is good with Gourmet? Do you mean in like multiplayer? I mean, I imagine the reason Saint would be good with anybody is because it just is absurdly overpowered. You just look at something and delete it. <laughs> I don't think being paired with Gourmand matters that much. You should be paying a toll to me. You're talking about through the game? What was the this that you were talking about? Hold on. I'll blast him. God damn it. Oh, making flashbangs. Oh. Pebbles is close. Uh. Depends how difficult it is to get through the. Uh, the husk to where he is.
I'm gonna fucking do it again. Oh, it's just a regular vulture. We can deal with that. What a clusterfuck that is. Is Overseer is following me? Uh, his Overseer will follow me a lot of places. We fully explored the husk? No. No, I'm not. No. Fuck these things. I thought it would get stuck there. It didn't. No. God, I love the hyper speed when you're swimming. Monthly cold, not for much longer. Yeah, they pour, bo uh, like, boiling water on you. Fuck! God, pro play by that lizard. Holy shit. Can we go watch his stream? He's way better at this game than I am. I was ready for Luis, Luis Bell, but I didn't think he was actually going to do it. <laughs> that laser is on X Games mode. Yeah, now he's on Dead Games mode. Okay. Uh, let's look at our map. We go... What? Is this intentional? My map data seems to have gotten fucked. Is that a just bug? Know what gave the ability to just delete things to the slug cat? Um, having good karma. Okay, well, we're going to Shaded. I know the path to Shaded. Are you. Is he a centipede? Well, like a deadipede. My favorite slug cat playthrough? Uh, I don't know. It's a tough one. To get to shaded, we... 
We just go right here, right? You know why you like Spear Master? You know if it's bland, you like the infinite spears. So the only thing I didn't like about Spear Master was the uh, the fact that the whole thing was just like a fetch quest, and you didn't have an interior stomach to hide things in, so you just had to constantly be holding something the entire time. I I liked Spearmaster a lot, but that was fuck fuck. Save me, save me, centipede. Save me, centipede, please. We're dead. I can't activate God mode in there because I I have to be in mid air to do it. I can't do it on the ground. It wasn't really very slow, no. Just committing genocide against literally everything. Lantern Mouse. I need a bit more combo for it, though. Oh, uh, Cyan Lizard. Let's do a little trolling. No, it's a holy war. not very whole. I am. I'm a whole. Uh, I would like to retract my previous statement upon further consideration. Okay. I'm gonna kill this thing this time. This is a cat game. Can we meow first? No, I'm a slug. I make slug noises. Howdy, partner. I was wondering about this. But it didn't work! Okay, we can use explosives. Oh, this fucker. I remember this fucker.
Lantern Mouse, how you feeling? Come on. Got him. Blasted him off that fucking cliff. I don't want to be near this overseer in case these guys fucking spear me. He just killed himself. God. Okay. Let's hit this shelter. ETA on pebbles? I don't know. I... I don't know how long of a trip it is from here. We're getting Outlaw and Dragon Slayer now. <laughs> I am trying to head there quickly. Yeah, no, I mean, we we went from fucking filtration system to shoreline back to five pebbles and then going back to filtration system. We're basically circling the entire map. We could go take some of the lasagna on that wall over there. Would not mind some lasagna at all. Okay. Well, this is the uh, the husk. We rest here. After this, what are we going to do? Ascend. Who talk again ever had? I don't know what that is, Louise. Well, never heard of it. Probably lost the outlaw progress, yeah? So, uh, Saint could probably get down to submerged superstructure, huh? With the super speed from, um, along with, like, Bubbleweed and stuff. From Ascend mode. Yeah, 
It shouldn't take too long to get up here, seeing as we can literally fly. <laughs> Alright, uh... Fuck. Now's the part I don't know about. I guess we just wander around here till we see something we recognize. It's like off to the right. Mantle and Laos. The skylight at a spot, can you come from the top? I, like, the way the map works doesn't... ...really enable that. This place feels familiar. Got a death wish? Can I go down? Is this here? Red centipede. More like dead centipede. Yes, this is where a cat boy is, right? Is no cat boy right down here? Maybe a little further. Uh, where do we go from here to reach him? Did we pass it? Anyone know? Remember? He's over there, isn't he? I think we go... That is the core room. I... I think you're grossly overestimating my knowledge of Five Pebbles layout. Okay. We're in a warm zone now. Let's rest here and take a look at the map, and if one of you knows where it is on the map and can point me to, like, which room it is, I think that would be ideal. Probably the best, be the best way to do this. Is it... 
It's off here to the right, I think. All the... Is it all the way... No, that was where the Echo was. That was where the Echo was. We don't want to go there. It's there. It's that room right there, right? Pretty sure that's it. So to get there... We have a long way to go. Okay. We take that path. Follow that. And we could take that there. Okay, we take that path up, then head right. Until we get to that room, then go up. Keep going up. And we can reach Pebbles. Okay. Okay. Let's have some lasagna. So slow. In God mode. And it doesn't matter for the vast majority of things. Uh, I know where the spot is. I know where the spot is. I found it. The core is under the level... Where there's supposed to be five pebbles. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. We've been to five pebbles before. I just wasn't sure where the exact room was. Not this one, right? We kept going. Yeah, it's that one. We want to go up now. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. Fuck. Get blasted. Okay.
Vain World Gun Edition. Yeah, this was a hell of a trip when we didn't have Max Coma. And couldn't just fucking fly. Going up. The core location is part of the DLC. Wonder if Moon has anything to say if you pop pebbles per first. Uh, she wouldn't know, right? I mean, is our temperature raising here? No, it's actually going down still. Okay. Hi, Pebbles. You ready? How you feeling? Nice to see me. See you in hell. Alright, and now we leave the scene of the crime. Run from the cops. Dead lizard. Is it warm here? Okay, we're back to the warm area, so we have time now. Did we meet five pebbles? Yeah, meet is a word that you could use to describe what happened between us. You could say that we met him. There's lasagna on the ground there. Oh, we actually want to go down to get back to where we were. Yeah, yeah. But it's warm here. The lantern mouses produce heat? I'm not sure. God, it looks so dopey the way he flies through the air. I am your god now. Worship me. Give me pearls. Now, we do have to get back through the Minos bird area, which, uh... Saint straight up T-posing across the land. Oh, goodbye, scavenger. No, it wasn't this one. It was the next one. Fuck! Get in! Fuck! Get- Okay. We're fine. Not even close. They were never gonna kill me. How did I not get spotted? I am a god. That just sounds like asking to get banned. I mean... I don't know why you would say that. Unless you just wanted to get banned. I'm not a dumbass. I assume that doing this is going to unlock things during the ending, but spoiling what those things are is just gonna get you banned. Did Five Pebbles say anything when we got there? He said, nice to meet you.
Or nice to see you, sorry, not nice to meet you. Alright. Now we just go back. I don't know, we didn't have that much time because it's actually cold where Pebbles is, so we can't stay there for super long. We had to make sure we blasted him then got back to shelter. sworn I blasted all these guys last time. Maybe the blasting isn't permanent death. Fuck. God still can't really deal with spitter spiders. <laughs> Did we take a wrong turn? Yeah, we wanted to go up there. Just want to go up. I think. God, where the fuck are we? We didn't come through here. I think we want to go up here. Which up? Does this look familiar? No, that was the scavenger merchant. That's a red centipede. I don't think it saw us, though. Thankfully. Nice as it might be to go fuck up a red centipede. Is there any gourmand lore? Uh, what do you mean by lore? big improvements or anything. Uh, Gourmand's storyline doesn't really have much to do with Five Pebbles and Moon. However, Gourmand does have some other lore relevancy that happens. Um, which, depending on whether you want to experience that yourself, someone can tell you, or... Uh, it's a very exciting thing to experience yourself. I'll say that. You don't have time to play this game? Okay, uh, Five Pebbles, when you go see him as the Gourmand, is basically like, I'm sick of you slug cat fuckers, get the hell out of my house. Um, and then the Gourmand gets the hell out. Uh, and goes and finds a bunch of other slug cats out beyond the outer expanse. And goes and lives happily with them. And like raises children and shit. Can't wait for you to find out all the gourmand crafting possibilities. I didn't pay that much attention to them when I was playing, but uh I remember you could craft weird shit. This is where we want to go, right? This 
doesn't. Did we want to take that path? No. God damn it. I don't know where the fuck I am anymore. Oh no, okay, yeah, this is this is shaded. Okay. I don't have my lantern anymore. Oh hello, Mr. Scavenger. What convenient timing. I have a pearl for you. The one with the lantern. The one with the lantern. Where lantern? Where? Get. You fucker. Lantern. Thank you. You raise that spear at me again and I will murder you. You reminded me of Courage the Cowardly Dog? What? Oh, you're saying what they said. These lantern mice are living too happily. That's what you get for sleeping on the job. Oh, the Flan episode. I don't really remember that episode. Okay. So I notice when you enter ascension mode, um, your eyes open. They're normally closed. Um, and you also might become like a little bit transparent. No, your eyes just open. Okay. Legend mouse with X eyes, rock mouse confirmed. Exactly, you get it. Okay, um, so we want to go back, oh god. We have to get to filtration system. Back to garbage wastes? And then back down there to filtration system? Or back to drainage system and then through there to filtration system? I think. That's what we're working with. We know where we're going. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. What are we gonna do there? Ascend. Go to the void sea. You take it into ways there's. It'll probably take 20, 30 minutes, maybe. If I would guess. Industrial outskirts drainage filtration is the fastest. Yeah, that's where I plan on going. Oh, it... Oh shit, the vault mouse is in here with us. Since we are a pretty fast character, and we can, these are scavengers, which is fine. 
All right, we want to go down here. Let me get this food. Fuck! God, these lantern mice are annoying. I cannot move. And there's a red lizard. I swear to fucking god. Industrial outskirts drainage filtration, huh? Uh, please speak in English, NBFY. You joke? Uh, it's a English-only channel. Doesn't matter. Rules are rules. Is that a lizard? It was a lizard. There are three rules. Third one should be English only. Alright, 
and it is a rule for a good reason. Here's pixel graphics, which is refreshing from realistic graphics. Yeah, graphics in this game are nice. Max Karma, you mean Saint DJ 3K? You're afraid to ask of what horrors happened from the original. It's just a bunch of Russian trolls that would come in and spam things that I wouldn't be able to read and tell what they were saying, but they would just be saying bad things. Is this game hard and what is the goal? The game is hard. It's very difficult. And the goal is complicated. Um, and not super easy to describe. And it varies from character to character, but the general goal is to survive in a dangerous world. That would be the goal that I would put as like general gameplay. I, it's not really NBFY. That's what like like, the way the game ends is not the goal of the game. Like, for the vast majority of the game, that's not your goal. Your goal is just to survive and explore the world. And, like... You're gonna get carrying instead? That's reasonable. This game is very punishing. Um, and can be very difficult to learn. And it's not the type of game I would recommend to everybody, but I think it can be very fun. I'm gonna do the Frozen Factory level with Donkey Kong, different Donkey Kong Pop movies. I don't know that, uh, I don't know that. I'm not familiar with that soundtrack. Okay, uh, Filtration was down there, right? So let's, let's hit up that shelter, and then we'll uh, head down to filtration. Okay, where are these fucking drop wigs? Is that a drop wig? No. I don't see any drop wigs, which means there's definitely a drop wig somewhere. Activate. Thank you. Can we? Oh, we can bonk leeches. like living? Too fucking bad. Okay. Karma flower is going to be a good find, because it'll make sure we can get there with 10 karma. We already had a karma flower. Whatever. Realizing it's 4,000 subscribers since I subscribed and going fast. Oh, it's been a few months, right? Okay, so we want to go right. Keep going right. Up there. Okay. 
right up in that narrow tunnel. Down, left side. Back out here, up there. Wait. No, we don't. We want to go there. But how does this connect? How does this connect? How do... We got there from here before. But how? I tell you what, I'm gonna go there. That place feels like it might lead there. I think the map might be a bit buggy still. Which is not good, because I don't know what the layout of this place is like. Uh, but I think in normal circumstances, you would head down the middle in there to get to filtration. Hello, lizard. Goodbye, lizard. This feels familiar. Yeah, I think this is where we were. I think it just didn't update the map. How much did the map change from normal campaign to saint? So, the entire map is visually different. Um, you know, let's get a pole plant kill. Wait, we can't? We cannot ascend pole plants. Um, the map's layout... Okay, now we're here. Is... Very different in some areas. Maybe the root? We'll try it with the monster cup up here. Um... And the mechanics of the game are very different. Um, the whole rain system is, is changed and overhauled. Um, I'm gonna go down? Wait. No, no, no. It was the middle path there. That was the one. This was where the echo was. That's right. Man, I really feel like we, w we picked the worst possible final echo. Don't you fucking do it. Are you fucking kidding me? Mother Spider Jackass. How do you redeem a Steam gift code? Uh, top left, go to like profile or something, then redeem. I should have been carrying my lantern. I don't know why I wasn't. I mean, it is a DLC because they're all changes to the base game. It's not like there's an entirely new map. But it's more of like... Uh, it, it, it is more akin to like uh, the Isaac DLCs where they just grossly change the, the game and add a ton of new content. And a lot of DLCs. Okay. Okay, we have to hit... Yeah, it's the top of the plant. Ooh. 
Any Spore players? <laughs> uh, did you see when I played Spore on a dance pad and the other time I played Spore? I've played Spore a few times. I licked the spider. Oh, God. I feel disgusting now. Oh, God. Ugh. 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 Get off of me, you fucker. Crunchy spider. Alright, time to figure out if we can ascend coalescipedes. Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Plus, I don't think coalescipedes can swim. I hope. I hope they can't swim. Oh, they can totally swim. It's fine. We'll warm down here. We don't have to worry about it. We'll kill them one at a time. We'll wait for a thing to regen. You hate that they... Get off of me! Wait, fuck. Can we? Okay, yeah, we can kill coalescipedes, I think. I cannot tell which of these coalescipedes are alive and which ones are dead. Or if any of them are alive. There's definitely something to the left, but I don't know if it's a coalescipede or not. Nuclear option. I think we're safe now. I think we killed all of them. Okay. Perhaps just not killing the big one that pops into a thousand bastards. I didn't want to risk it. There were so many of those mother spiders. So we have to hit the top of the pole plant. I guess in this case the monster kelp. Yeah, the root. That makes that's a good word for it. Got the unlock. New Venus. I feel like root's better word. Head wouldn't head would imply like the top, which is not the part we want. Okay. And now the home stretch. Okay. We shouldn't need to rest at all. We can just go straight down there. Mole lizards don't have shit on my gun. And we shouldn't have to worry about rain or warmth or anything. Does Saint have any dreams like some of the other slugcats? No, I don't think any of the DLC slugcats, aside from Gourmet, have had any dreams from what I've seen. I don't know if Artificer does. I haven't gone that far in Artificer's campaign. But I don't remember Rivulet or... Spearmaster having any. Why are Saints' eyes constantly closed? They're not. 
They were open when we were ascended. Um, hold on. The whole area, maybe everything here was going to be frozen. It's all hazy, like when we go to the Void Sea. Alright, let's be a fast cat. Yeah, I think he's meditating. Ah, uh, there's an unlock in there. How would we get that? I'm interested. We'd have to get that, which means... What's Saint's abilities? That is a complicated question. In the regular... Before progressing very far into the campaign, Saint's abilities are that he has a very long tongue, and he can use that like a grappling worm. He's a grappling boy. After finishing, after, we're dead. I didn't realize there was a monster cup there. Um, after raising yourself to N maximum coma, uh, you turn into a god, you can fly, and you can instantly blow up anything in the game, pretty much. Well, not instantly. It's a little bit of a charge-up. We'll do this on this monster belt, because I want to get this unlocked. Yeah, I'll show it off in a sec. You go from being insanely weak to just absurdly busted. The monster cup was very hidden. Okay. Okay, let's throw this. Hey, you stole my lantern! You fucker! Get fucked. He stole my lantern! But the trade-offs are that... Honestly, the whole Saint campaign is really difficult to describe con concisely, because it's a wild... different... Like... God, I want my lantern! I can't see what the fuck is going on now. I want... I want to get myself killed. But I can't save and quit because... Then we'll lose coma from it. Is it basically an insta-kill? Yes, I think the only thing that can survive it are like the... Like watchers... Or whatever. Okay. I'm going to let this lizard kill me. Because I don't want to do this without my lantern. It's fucking miserable not being able to see. Coma isn't an issue. You need 10 coma to enter the, the depths. I don't see why it would be different on this character compared to a different one. How many new areas in the DLC? Um... The game maxes out your combo automatically when you enter the depths, remember? What do you mean, remember? I don't think that was a... Does it? I don't remember that being a thing. It's always been a thing? I don't remember that. The giant X room? Well, I thought that was the gate that stopped you from going there unless you had 10 combo. You said a max karma unlocked. Oh, okay. Um. I don't remember exactly how many new areas there are. Um. 
I can think off the top of my head. It's weird because there are a lot of area reworks. Because some of the slug cats happen at different points in the timeline. So they're not technically completely new areas, but they're drastically altered versions of existing areas. But as far as completely new areas, um, I can think of, let's see, there's that one, two, three, three, but it's like, well, that one's kind of two areas, but I think they're technically one area, but I'm going to call it four because they're distinct areas. Um, and then... Yeah, I can think of four, like, actually five completely different areas. You saw that the outskirts were called, like, suburban drifts? Yes, that is this slug cap. Um, Saint takes place long after all of the other slug cats. And as a result, the whole place is, like, frozen over. Pretty much every single area in Saint's campaign is reworked. And Saint, as soon as you do all of that, unlocks just a fucking <laughs> insta-kill uh, motor tool. What new spooky creatures have we seen? I've seen three new varieties of lizards. Um, there are, I think, caramel lizards, which are like green lizards that spit. Um... There are eel zerds, or like a, 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 a teal lizard. Um, they're like aquatic lizards. Um, and then there are what I call salmon lizards, or like grapple lizards, or cream lizards. People have different names for them. Um, they have a long range tongue. I do around. Uh, 3,333,333 3, damage per hit. Okay. So, not super high damage, you know. Nothing too extreme. I mean, we should have one shot a Leviathan. <laughs> uh, which was very fun. Just insta-killed it. Um, there were also, uh, god damn it to get down here now. Oh, I was speaking to YouTube chat. Sorry. Uh, I'm streaming on YouTube as well. I hate when this happens. Oh, yes. We also uh, put a gun to, to Moon and Pebbles uh, and blasted him. And we'll see what... <sighs> Yeah, I'm streaming on Twitch as well. Twitch chat has not been active today, uh, at all. Is there a good way to get past this shit when this happens? Pick it up and drag it? We're weak is the problem. If we don't... Maybe we could tongue it, yeah. Okay. Okay, we can tongue... We're stronger... Our tongue is stronger than our hands. Use gun to ragdoll?
Okay. Yeah, yeah, that worked. Kind of. Oh, God. Come on, just get in the hole. Get in the hole. In the hole. God. I hate. Oh, hold on. Are we getting in? If there weren't two lizards here, this wouldn't be an issue. Where did the second lizard even go? Okay, the second lizard seems to be gone. I don't know why. Okay, we got through. Jesus Christ. Is that the dead lizard? Oh, okay. I think it's off to the left here, if I remember correctly. Please activate god mode. Stop grabbing shit. You only unlock that ability after you beat it. It's not quite beating it. That unlocks the ability. It's raising your coma to 10. Your max coma. Meeting all the echoes, basically. Um... That is when you unlock that ability. Uh, and to get to all the echoes, remember the old days where dying is saint. Once a saint, set your coma back to one. No, was that a thing that they like hot fixed? A like yesterday or a day or two ago? I didn't remember any updates. Or is this like a beta thing or what? It was in the mod days? Oh, okay. Downpour was much a mod called More Slug Cats. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Make sure we don't die to fall damage. Um, hello. This isn't, um... Uh... Huh. Huh. Is that the end? Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh. No, okay, okay. Rubicon, who's got the campaign? What do you mean? No, my lantern! Do we have infinite flight? No. But it seemed to recharge quickly. Hold on. Wait, no, that's normal recharge speed. Okay, this is the regular... This is the depths area. What the hell is that? Okay. Oh, the best campaign. Um... That's a tough one. Don't 
or touch the piss. What did I say about backseating? You seem like a nice fellow. You seemed like a nice fella. Can we eat these? We must be able to, right? Oh, they're explosive. Okay. Wait, and these are like actual weapons I can use. It's the most annoying background music in the game. It's... Yeah. Not the biggest fan. Doesn't slap as hard as the other tracks. Uh, we're gonna rest here. Cause I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I feel like this campaign is a lot more important and cool, but you don't know enough yet. Um, it, it's hard for me to, all the campaigns I've played have been really good, and all the Slugcats I've played have been really fun, and I don't know how to rank them in comparison to each other. They're high velocity spears? They're a nightmare to get, they also work with Saint. How do you get them normally? You kill those bugs? Where are these bugs normally? Are they down here in the depths? exclusively here like this version of this area or like if you came to the depths with a normal character could you find it this area for this character so wouldn't they be impossible to get for other characters Okay. When you said they're a nightmare to get, I thought they would just be difficult to get, not just straight up impossible. Yeah, arena mode I could see. I hear some lizards. Void lizards? They look like red lizards. Arena mode lets you spawn them manually with a creature that drops them? What about it? Does it have a ton of health or something? Naturally, what this area needs is spitter spiders. Just be glad you insta-killed it. I mean, I'm never going to encounter it outside of arena mode. What happens if you don't insta-kill it? 
Fuck, we missed. Damn it. It's the most shocking spook creature. Um, Mother Spider. Mother Spider. If you hit it with the spear, the eggs on its back explode violently and let it aggressively hunt you down and insta-kill you. Huh. Also, the eggs are grenades? No, they're not. Oh! I see. Coolest area? Uh, it's cool, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's the- I know if it's really cool areas. Um, I don't know if I would put this one as the coolest. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, coolest area is a question. Um, I really liked Outer Expanse and, uh, what the fuck, uh, Frigid Airy or whatever it was. I thought those two areas were absolutely gorgeous and really fun. Um, 8.39 hour long stream. That's not really that long, I mean... Void centipede? Eight hours and thirty nine minutes. Yeah, I I know. I've I've been here doing it, it's not like Think the reskids of Red Lizard and Centipede. That's what it seemed like to me. Because they look just like them. Oh, Spider Spider's not here anymore. I'm just waiting for there to be a fucking, like, void drop wig or something. Do you mind, bro? Oh, fuck. We got too greedy. The dwarves, the dwarves dug too greedily. Too deep. over there? Have I seen the big jellyfish? I have. We've blown up the big jellyfish. shelter here. 
It's not really that far from the other one, though. I don't know if I care to... Let's regen regenerate our void energy or whatever. Oh, hold on. We have a time cycle here. Um, I might go rest then. I don't know what that was going to happen when we run out of time. But I don't appreciate this guy blocking my exit anymore. Oh, so we're nearly done with this DLC? Yes. We, this is the last area. I would be very surprised if there was another area after this. This is the rework of the depths, where you normally have the void sea and you go ascend. This ability lets you ascend creatures. The ability violently ragdolls any living creature, literally reduces a big jellyfish into bits. Well, it's just the saint realized that the answer to spiritual peace and ascension is violence. So how fast do these things fly? You said they were high velocity spears. How fast do they go on normal characters? Oh, these guys don't respawn. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this area is exactly. Um, I hope it's not terribly long. Uh, because I would like to finish the campaign. Uh, but... We will see. Okay. Stop blocking my exit. Avoid monster kelp. Velp. Velp. Okay, whatever. They can live. Yeah, the grapple uh, on this character, like even without the flying and insta-killing, the grapple is great. The only thing that, like the downside to this character is not insignificant though, being unable to use weapons. And also, the spawns are all very dangerous. Um. The lack of meat eating is annoying. I didn't really find it to be much of an issue. Your food requirement is not very high. Like, isn't it less than Survivor? Isn't Survivor 5? And yours is 4 plus the 1 storage? It's basically Monk, but... Um... You have one less storage space, and that storage space is converted to regular food, right?
survivor is four and three storage. Oh, okay, so it's survivor with slightly less storage. The monk has three and two. Okay, I thought survivor was five for some reason. Maybe I'm just thinking hunter. I thought hunter was like seven though. I don't really remember. It's been a minute. I played survivor. This feels promising. Some of the usual food source like bats are not possible to get. Yes, but the game gives you, like, plenty of... Void vultures? I don't want to fuck with that thing. Because it sounds like a Minos vulture. I'm for revenge, motherfucker. You finally killed one. This is pretty long, huh? Okay, shelter. Can I kill the monster grass? Ah, uh, the worm grass, huh? If we find more, I'll give it a shot. It's an interesting question. We're getting distorted, so I think we're getting closer and closer. Because the visual distortions are usually... ...indicative of... This feels like... This is... Very, very reminiscent of that room in Outskirts. So any around the map, I could have tried popping a daddy long legs. I mean, it would have just killed it. I don't... I don't think there's much... I guess we have to swim through that one. Okay. Well, I guess it wasn't really a liquid. We haven't killed a noodle fly yet. Let's fix that. Isn't the water bad? There was a thing over there. There was a gate, so... I don't think so. Yeah. It's a fake liquid. Maybe it's an upside-down liquid or something. Or maybe it's just void shit or whatever, I don't know. 
I don't trust that. This looks promising. What the fuck is happening to me? Void? Okay, apparently the void uh, snails just give you a seizure nonstop. those guys taste like? I wonder if you can eat them as like gourmand hunter, spearmaster, artificer. And is this food? It is food. Void fruit? Let's get a nice snack. <laughs> Nothing I love to eat quite as much as grenades. It's a sticky grenade. I think maybe I just... Do I have any semblance of which way to go? Oh, I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Um, I'm assuming in normally with the Void Sea, you go down. Um, in this case, gravity is reversed, so I'm thinking go up. Genuinely, I hate these fucking birds. He's the worst enemy in the game.
Yeah, they are no weird. Fuck that squid cater. Fuck that squid cater. I straight up didn't run into one of the fog demons. What? I don't know what that is. There's an, an enemy that I didn't encounter. Would they show up in the Artificer campaign? If so, I don't want any information on it. Is it exclusive to Saint? Because I still have yet to play Artificer. I... You don't think it's exclusive, but you won't tell me what it is. Okay. I bounced too high. Off that gravity. We fly. Again. Are you crackling? Oh, God. There are a bunch of the snails right outside of this. We have to go, because the snail is now... at a location where it poses an actual problem. How did we die over here? Oh, Miner's Bird, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus Vulture. Pop a gap in that Leviathan. Oh, okay. We didn't actually kill it. It did not seem to care. Did he? He doesn't care. Huh. Hang on, are these... Upside down versions? of various maps throughout the world? Because this feels like shoreline. That other room felt like outskirts. It's 
looks like a normal side up shoreline. I thought it looked upside down. Like, this is... This feels like those long shoreline tunnels, right? Like the one with the big... This is an upside down shoreline room. I have no doubt about it. I recognize this room. I wish you could understand even 10% of the map. This one, I don't know about as much. Uh, this does not look familiar to me. I don't know, the machinery makes me think like moon or pebbles, but this room... Is it really gonna make me just sit here and regen my, my thing, huh? Could just be upside down ocean. Okay. Is that moon? It is. Or pebbles, one of the two. What are we doing at the moment? I... I don't know how to answer that fucking question. I... I... Can I find their little room? I imagine that's where it's leading me. But I don't know how much... Uh, this section of looks to the moon, I don't recognize. At least not upside down. We can't go to the side. We can't go further down. I I assume if it's possible to find it, the game will like lead us there. Oh fuck! This is a hundred percent five pebbles. This is that room in the underhang. I remember this fucking room. Oh my god. How could I forget this room? We died here so many times. Uh... I know this fucking room. Activate, please. We're not close enough. Fuck. But this one's not upside down, right? Maybe it is, and it's just not very noticeable. Okay. Was that creative mode rock I have? Uh, it's a light source. For... For lighting things up. This one here, right? Yeah, there's that fucker. Okay, that bug scared the hell out of me. There's just a regular ass cyan lizard down there. What? There's just a regular ass cyan lizard.
The floating in the gun. Okay, um, when we reached maximum coma as this character, you become a god, and you're able to just blow everything up and fly. I respect the cyan lizard so much. It tried to- <laughs> Did it win? Which one won? The daddy long legs is still alive, fuck. It ate the bomb and survived. Turn on, please. Turn on. Turn on. Huh. Weird room blending here. Actually, no, that is there normally. That is there normally. I remember jumping to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess we take the... Path? Huh. We'll see what happens next. This is the... Um... Room to Pebbles is chamber, isn't it? Oh no, this is here. Okay. Is there a shelter down here still? Yo! Shelter! Some things never change. Okay, um... Is the entire map upside down just some mashup areas? Some of it was upside down. This is not upside down. This is right side up. Um... Okay, let's take the path to Pebbles. Okay. Okay, that's promising. <laughs> coma gate raised us to max coma level. Bomb. Got it. Okay. It's not gonna make me go through all the pebbles, right? All the pebbles, right? Half expecting a lantern mouse to just block a pipe. Light source. Hold on, give me that. No, give, give me, give me. Okay. What if it's dark in there? We need to see. Hello. Do you feel it, old friend? The sensation of time folding in on oneself? The spiraling offshoot of another's reality wrapping around your own? 
None of this is real, is it? Every repeating cycle of our existence unwound and laid bare, a cycle pulled into a tangent with itself. Is this what we were looking for? Have we broken free from it, or is this just a dream? Was the answer always right there? Does the question mean anything to us now that we are here? Perhaps the resolution was never possible from our original frame of reference. The question wasn't well defined. If we had stumbled upon a correct solution among all our permutations, we wouldn't have had any hope to distinguish it from the faulty ones, nor did we have a method to reliably test it. We were trying to understand what lies beyond a point of no return while having yet to pass it. Only those who have seen the other side can know the answers, but by definition they can never venture back to deliver the, no the knowledge they have gained. Perhaps this is why you need to wake up, little visitor. Hello. They seem happy. Oh, okay. I can't activate God Mode anymore. We're swimming. We got my lantern, though. Them with a send. I was wondering that, Benito, but I didn't want to test it. No, I lost my walk! Damn it. So I take it that five pebbles and moon were there because I blasted them with a gun? I wonder what would happen if I blasted just moon or just pebbles. Hello, Mr. Wormy Boy. Can I blast this one? How much HP does this thing have? How many blasts does it take to get to the center of a void worm pop? long swim in it. Do you wonder what type of storm happens in the void? I was wondering about that too. Yeah, what happens when you run out of time in the cycle. Man, how much food do we have? Oh, we can't check our food. Damn it, how are we gonna know if we're gonna starve when we hit the next shelter? If you can swim out of the void fluid after you skinny dip into it. Man, this slug cat looks fucked up right now. Its torso has been completely deleted. We're almost done. Looks like we're almost done. Hello. Hang on, where are like all of the random like lizards that I sent to the void sea to ascend? I blasted them with the gun. Is 
Is this the abyss from Calamity? Um, I'm not doing that. I didn't press that button. I didn't pull the trigger, I swear. My karma? No! Is that the adult idol I'm going? My gun! I miss my gun. Okay, we're turning into a caterpillar. The very hungry caterpillar. Circle karma. Where are the karma now? We got 11 karma. What's that? What is... I can't tell if these are supposed to be directing me or not. Good theories, everyone. Tendrils? I don't know what that means. You almost finished Saint at the same time. Did you blast Pebbles and Moon, Stellar Star? Going towards the light. Looks like a mini echo. Oh, the echoes! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Everything is the light of a black dot swimming in a sea of white. I was like a navy blue at the end, okay? Where's the cyan lizard? There's a cyan lizard that's gonna jump across the screen. Unlocked the cycle.
Okay. Ending out, I will. Okay, let's check out points. We went on a fucking massacre. I want to see how many kills we got at the end. We yellow. Oh. Oh. That's lame. I guess the gun kills don't count. Not sure how I killed three yellow lizards without my gun, but... Okay. Rubicon content is now available in arena mode. Huh. Huh. Can't continue a saint now. Bombs? Oh, maybe it was the bombs. Yeah. The centipedes might have been when I threw the spore puffs at them. I feel like that's not even vague. I feel like that's fairly explicit, right? I mean, that's 100% like the echo. Uh, can you encounter Echo Saint as other cats? I have no idea. So I guess that would mean that the saint is one of the slug cats that failed to ascend. If um, the echoes are the remnants of the past civilization that failed to ascend. Just joined? Well, we just finished, so. Not the best time. That would be my guess, is... Do the other campaigns do anything in the other games? Um, Gourmand unlocks an area for other slug cats to go to. Um, and I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible Hunter might create Hunter long legs where you die. I haven't, you know, I'm, I'm not certain, but I think that was the theory we were working with. Um, that's as much as I know, though. Pebbles and Moon talk about waking up. Or is the wake from your dream stuff meaning in this case? I mean, if we're working on the... I don't know. If we're working on the, like, I mean, we don't know what it's like to be an Echo. What the Echoes do, or what their perception of things is like. It's possible they're... I don't know. Saint quote the opposite, opposite of that, and Saint rejects the very true ascension for some reasons. It might be for the good of others considering the name Saint. That could be potential. Yeah. He intentionally rejected ascending to be sent back as an echo to be able to uh, tell the other things how to ascend. 
That was immediately after the conversation with Pebbles and Moon talking about it. The problem is he just didn't hit it enough times with the gun. He had to shoot it more. Uh, I have been streaming for nine and a half hours, though. I am tired as fuck. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Take a nap. Eat dinner. I have not stood up in nine and a half hours. Huh. I will probably be back Monday. Probably the next time I'll play. Uh, but yeah, bye everyone.